here with uh, Race Three's winner, Matt Meaney off Swell. Well done, mate. Uh, talk us through the tough day that it was. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, our first race, um, pretty tough race. We went out left and um, ended up very deep. Made up for it in the second race. Started out um, off the boat and just worked the right hand side and top three around the top mark and then um, just kicked it from there. Your first win in 60 foot skiff nationals? Yeah, um, had, a, had a win the last nationals but unfortunately that one got called off so making up for it. So first official win. January 2024 for the Australian 16 foot skiff and 13 foot skiff national titles hosted by the St George Sailing Club. I'm Jimmy Bury and joining me in commentary today is Andrew Dolly Devola and Clint Bowen at the Bozo. Welcome back brother. Thank you mate. Good afternoon and Jimmy and viewers. Good to be here. It's um, got a bit of a different day to yesterday Dole where uh, we had not much breeze, lots of rain flicking about. And today, what's the weather got for us? What's it got installed for us today, Dol? Well, yesterday, uh, obviously for those who watched yesterday, we had a very difficult day of changing wind direction and rain and uh, quite unpredictable wind. And we did a lot of sitting around and we had to talk a lot of, uh, do a lot of filling in. But uh, today's another day. We've had a southerly come through this morning was a bit early, came through a bit earlier than uh, was expected and forecast, which made me think that it would uh, start to get a little bit of east in it and, and start to uh, dissipate a little, but what we're seeing out here at the moment, the moment you're seeing the fire stopping there on screen, lit up and going downwind, uh, we're still getting gusts up to around 20 knots out here at the moment. Um, but I'm expecting it as the afternoon goes on to slowly uh, maybe we'll probably see some holes in the breeze and I'll expect whoever can stay in the pressure um, will make the gains. We did a, did a bit of a park walk uh, just before we boarded the boat and uh, there was lots of people asking what I thought and it was they had big decisions to make and from what I can see... Um, most of the fleet that we're looking at at the moment have gone for the little rig. I did say to some of the bigger guys that, uh, yeah, you could put the big rig in and if you can lump it upwind, you're going to be super quick downwind and by race two, if that breeze dies, they would have a distinct advantage. But at the moment, I can't see anyone that's had the courage and conviction to, uh, to take that on. So... We will see what happens in the next, uh, we'll probably be out here for two hours. Um, and I, don't, I can't see it being 20 knots for the next two hours. What do you think, Clint? Mate, firstly, I just want to say um, I'm glad it's blowing today because um, I don't have the brain cells, the great bloke brain cells, to actually commentate for two hours when the breeze is so light. So <laughs> you, well done, well done, you boys, yesterday. You, you could you. definitely talk, though, Bozo, so that's why we got you out here today, <laughs> Yeah, mate. but I don't think anyone will listen to me. Well, so, so if you were sailing the fluid today, mate, what, what rig do you think you would have put in? Oh, geez, it would be a toss-up. I think if the rest of the fleet went second rig, you'd have to go second rig, especially you're walking around the park and looking at the competition. You'd sort of want to match them. But it's sort of shaping up to be one of those top fueler days yeah. where it's just flat out, you know. And if you did have the big rig on and you had some horsepower, you'd actually be backing yourself today, I think. Yeah, so if you're swinging a couple of decent crows... Yeah, 180, 200 kilos on the wire. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's sort of the message I was talking to the guys about. But as you say, a lot to play for today. We've got two races. Um, there's a lot of people with some big scores that just need to bank some good numbers. So you don't want to take too many risks this early in the regatta. Um, so you go with what your opposition's got. And who knows, we might see someone who's down the leaderboard roll the dice and and come race two, if they've got the big rig in, they might uh, might get a win up. But from what I can see, it's looking like all little, little rigs out here, right? And speaking of such, we just had Sudley on the on the TV, and they're two big boys, and they've got the second rig in. 
So uh, obviously there's, they're, they're banking against, you know, a major disaster. Yeah, so Sarah, Sarah in a very good position in the regatta at the moment. You're not going to take any risks. You'll take no risks. No risks at all. But, but for boats who are back in the fleet a bit, they could, uh, could take their chances, but it doesn't look like anyone's had the courage to do that. I'm talking about Sarah and her good form. We might as well take the opportunity to have a look at the results so far. We'll get them up on the screen for the 16-foot skiffs we'll start with. And first... You have Imagine Signage, Nathan Wilmot, still hasn't won a race, but been very consistent. Second, you've got Southerly. Third, Sail Racing. Fourth, Sutec Building Consultants. Those boys, would be, they'd be over the moon. You'd... I'll be cheering. Fourth place with a 10, 10, 11. Yep. Consistent. Uh, then CJK Design from Belmont. Skelcon, Henry Macon following in, uh, in six. Seven, Moon and Yachts. Eighth dominoes, ninth fluid, ten swell racing. And um, then we'll have a quick look at the thirteens on scratch. Ebix, Gemma Hopkins, quite uh, quite a great lead on six points with three seconds. Uh, second is Sail Media, third fluid. Fourth, Bartley Construction. Fifth, Cybertech Group. Sixth, Harkin, which, uh, yeah, considering, I think they didn't finish the first race, Dole, so That's correct, uh, yeah. you know, they're, they're going quite well. Then you've got Plonk Cafe. Uh, eighth is Bigfoot Bags and Covers. Ninth is QED. And tenth is Botany Scaffold. And then also what we do have, just for the viewers at home, who's leading what else? You have... In, on the handicap for the 16-foot uh, skiffs, you have fire stopping leading from Little Blue Dinosaur. One point difference there at the moment. It's uh, still very early in the, the piece to sort of be watching those, that, go, that go one. The fire stopping. Absolutely. Yeah. Good bait, that one. Um, Not only that, Jimmy, but Alex Hart works for Fluid. We're joining together, mate, after all these years. After all these years, <laughs> we've finally come together, Bozo. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the, uh, what have we got, the first female, you've got Southerly Sarah Lee. She's obviously leading that. Um, then in the Masters, there's only three, but Ross Stoochbury on the Pepsi Max is leading that from the Belmont Club. In the uh, youth, you got Swell Racing. Matt Meany from the Belmont Club's leading that at the moment. So there's uh, still a lot to play for. Then in the 13-foot skiffs on handicap, you got QED um, is leading that one. And the female, obviously, Gemma on the Ebix is leading that one. So there's all the other little subcategories that everyone's out to play for. Um, but still probably a little bit early after only three races to sort of... Uh, be starting to count chickens in those departments. Yeah, and the, the big thing today, uh, Jimmy, obviously, is if we get two races away today, which uh, I'm pretty confident we're going to, I can't see this breeze going anywhere. Uh, the start line's just open. Uh, yeah, if we get the two races in today, then a discard will come into play. And a lot of the boats who either broke gear, didn't finish in the first race yesterday, um, boats like uh, Noakes, who yesterday had a uh, had a, an OCS, um, they get to discard those worst scores. So uh, we'll see some big movement in the leaderboards once that uh, discard comes into play. Just have a look there at Noakes. Noakes section. They're sporting Noakes the big blue. Red there. Noakes blue. Noakes that blue. is. Ryan Ewings. Okay. Now, Jimmy and I know uh, who is Ryan Ewings' mentor and who Ryan Ewings works for, and that is one David Witt. And uh, if Ryan's been talking to Ryan, if Ryan's been talking to Witty this morning, he would have got one message, and that would have been big rigs win big races, mate. So uh, Witty would be a very proud man. He would. He would indeed. And hopefully we can see Ryan push that thing around the track and have a great day today. And if you're not sure about that, go and type into YouTube, after this of course, <laughs> yeah. Nokia Heavy Wind Sailing, if you yeah, want to see some Auckland. fans. In Auckland, in Auckland, yeah. Auckland. Auckland. Auckland yeah. in the 18-footers and uh, David Witt's finest moment.
Can someone explain to me with the Masters what makes a Masters crew? A total of. I, I think the three of us would qualify. Right. <laughs> I think it's a total so of all bastards. I think it's a total of 150. Uh, a total of 150. Is that right, right Jimmy? I think. Mate, your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. We'll make it up as we go. Right. Right. So we're somewhere around that. 150 years total on the boat. Right. Well, I think with Mal Page on the Imagine, they, they, qualify. they qualify, but obviously with um, with Jack on there, they drop out of that qualification. Right. So I know, so it's got to be close right. to somewhere around that. I, I remember when we were sailing, there was probably 10 of them here. So because we've only got Pepsi Max, Lee and Man Flu, does that mean that we're losing our old guys and more young people are coming through? No, I, I think, think, I think, I think they, they just know what's, what's happening the, on uh, Friday. I think, I think the older guys are just getting younger crews. <laughs> right, yeah. OK, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, yeah. 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 Imagine their vets. And, and for those who've never seen the Veterans Trophy, it's a beautiful... Uh, Timber Clark with a walking stick mounted on it. Very nice trophy. There's Cunningham's that had a reasonable day yesterday, um, considering um, how light and shifty it was. They sort of snuck away with two half decent results yesterday. So that's Nick Connor on the helm with Paulie Sausage McKenzie and Tom Quigley. Tom Quigley has stepped in for this regatta and from what I've seen so far is doing a great job. He sails on uh, Shore and Partners with Emma Rankin and, and um, Cam McDonald in okay. the 18-footers. So strategising on this course here, Dol, what are we thinking? Uh, for me, mate, you wouldn't want to go anywhere right of centre. Uh, this, if this breeze is going to shift anywhere, it will go slightly left. And if it's going to go left, you want to be on the left side of the course. And for me, most of the pressure will come through. Uh, we're not looking up. We're looking up at... Uh, the docks there, but if we if we look to the south, there's some low lower areas in the landform that usually get the the breeze coming through up towards Tower. Um, and yeah, if I, I'd be going middle to the left myself, Clint. What would you think? I would agree with you. I would agree with you. I think it's um, it's shaping up to be like I said, a top fielder day, as the Belmont boys would say. And uh, I, I'd say there's going to be a race out to the corner. Yeah. Um, in, in, in saying that, I think it's the guys that can generate as much pace as possible. It's it's not so much a strategy day. It's a it's a boat race day. Yeah. Yeah. I said to both of my kids, start down towards the pin if you can, if it's an even line, and put your foot down and get to that left hand side lay line as quick as you can. Don't worry about height. Just go like a rocket. Just send it. Just send it. There's a five minute gun. And I'll guarantee they won't execute that plan. Because <laughs> <laughs> what would Dad know? Yeah. For this first work, we can rule the, the tide out. It's probably the slackest it's going to be all day. Low That's is right. at two o'clock. So. Yeah. yeah. So we're in the uh, five minute sequence has begun. It was the hooter that you probably just heard over the audio. So the first day you gave me a, a tip, I only got one tip, thanks very much guys, you got three and I picked the fluid and uh, poor old fluid had a little bit of a problem downwind. Um, today, who, who are the top fuelers? Yeah, we actually didn't do this yesterday so um, we didn't really put the mocker on anyone yesterday, we, we neglected to do that. Um, yeah, well, I'm thinking a couple of the boats that are in a little bit of... That's four minutes, folks. So a couple of the boats that are in a little bit of strife on the point score at the moment. Um, like Moon and um, Noakes, who are... They're both carrying some bigger numbers. Imy, unfortunately, yesterday, they banked a 37. They'll be looking forward to getting rid of that. And uh, 
and if I was to back one um, today, I like, and you're just seeing them right now, coincidentally, there's modern concept construction. So uh, they, everyone out here at SEP for Noakes Youth are little rig, and modern concept constructions have a slightly bigger second rig than, than the rest of the fleet, and that might come work to their advantage today, I think. Um, and let, let's throw Noakes Youth in because they've got the big rig in, right? Totally. totally. I'm giving them giving them full kudos for courage. Absolutely. And, and looking at the breeze here, it, it looks like it's just lightening off a little bit. And I've, I've just put the mocker on five boats there, so... Well done. <laughs> well done. And you didn't mention... You, you, did, you, you didn't mention fluent, and I won't either. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, you just did. So, <laughs> who, who are you picking, Clint? Look, I, I, I definitely think Moonen's going to be fast yeah. today. Um, and uh, SKE, and I have been very impressed with... Uh, is it the young guys with Milko on board? The S, uh, C, uh, the C, CJK, CJK. Uh, with Derby steering, th those boys have just been the quarter achievers. I they think, have been. Know. They have been indeed. And I noticed they're out of the um, they're out of the the jerseys for the handicap, but I think they're going to be right in there. They've been sailing exceptionally well for the first three days here, and it's um, yeah. You know, when I was speak, speaking to Gilzo before the regatta, he was saying, "Oh, you know, sort of a new combination, not really confident." He um, definitely pulled the wall over my eyes, that's for sure. So, And, 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 and credit to Milko too, because he's been sailing with Piper for many years and he's made the decision to help some young guys out and I think that's what it's all about. And he's, he's obviously making a big influence. And I do know that uh, Derby's dad, Darren Jones, is over in um, Pretoria in South Africa at the moment. He's been watching watching the regatta and keeping tabs on how Derby's going. So, g'day, Daz. Um, and yesterday, geez, Jimmy, we neglected to wish Matty Waters a happy birthday. Is he 70? Yeah, I don't know. How are you, Matty? I know you're watching. I don't think he's even 50, is he? No, he's, only, he's still only a pup. But yeah, happy birthday for yesterday, Matty. There's so a couple of suspects coming... back at the club, too, that uh, you got to avoid later on, Dole being Perry and Cub. Oh, dear. OK. So I'll show you the back way out. One one minute. Here we go. There we are. Um, how are you liking where Fluid is there, Clint? Stepped out, mid-line. I actually like them at the moment. Not it's too it, bad, eh? It's a, it's a good mix, actually. There's a, there's a bit at the boat end, and there's a whole lot of the good guys at the, at the pin end. So we've got red pumps right down at the pin, advance. It's red pumps red. Red pumps red, yep. Um, and a lot of these starts, I mean, r right now on a, on a day like this, you've got to get off the line and you're looking around, if you're a, a boat, the first thing I'd look around is finding a boat that I felt was sympathetic to the way I sailed. So if I wanted to go, I wanted a boat below me that could foot or I wanted, say, Matt Trigolone above. Top end of the line, we've got uh, Noakes Youth with the big rig, we've got SKE, we've got Tugara and Cunningham's. There's some pretty good boats up this Red end of the Red are going to have to go around down the pin there, Dolph. There, over. I reckon we're going to get a recall here, Jimmy. Myself. Imagine signage. What are we going? Are we going general or individual? Individual. Individual recall. So definitely boats down at the pin end. Um, definitely one of them was uh, Red Pumps Red. Who was the other one? We just listened to the radio. We're just waiting for some confirmation on who that might have been. Um, excellent start. Uh, SKE electrical up at, towards the boat end. They're stepping out nicely with good height and good speed. And that's one boat we, we probably neglected there. That first race, they showed excellent pace in the first two laps. Oh, most definitely. Well, you, you mentioned, you gave them a mention, didn't you? I did, you but did. I wasn't as... Uh, you weren't that I wasn't, confident. I wasn't have that confident on them. I thought maybe it's lightening a little bit for them. Well, this race is a long way from over yet, but, uh, yeah, young Banjo Nicholson in the SKE, away to a great start, boat end, and he's in a clear lane now. He can actually put his bow down a little bit and go fast. So uh, the three boats that were over were Imagine Signage, which went back. Red Pumps Red went back. Sunshine 
Noakes was the other boat that they identified as over, still hasn't returned. So there's the uh, that's the latest from the uh, from the start boat for you. Copy, Jimmy. Not good news for the uh, the travellers, the fans, the Queensland fans. I'm afraid, but. Uh, and it's good to see the Queenslanders here. Big shout out to the Queenslanders. My good mate, and I'm a good mate, Rob Watson. Done a lot for the Queensland class. The stalwart of the Queensland class, indeed he was. So you can see, imagine there, they're actually in not too bad a shape considering they had to uh, go back and restart. They're both them and Red Pumps got it over and done with very quickly. They knew they were over. Um, sometimes boats will step out a bit far and, and it's a long way to get back and very expensive but uh, yeah imagine straight back into the into the throng and they're in pretty good company with Eric Storage and Lee Napton's Noakes in close quarters a bit behind them is uh, CJK and that's the good thing about these, the, the good boats will just get straight into there. They have a problem, they get straight into it, and before you know it, the top mark, they're in the top five, ten, they're back in the game. Calm. And you've got three laps to, 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 to make your ground. Yeah, to get it back. So, you know, you don't have to get it all back before the first top mark. Yeah, and this, is, this race is decent length deep too. That top mark's quite a long way up. It's looking about one... 1.4, I'd be guessing. 1.25. 1.25. Well, you know, my eyesight's not perfect, but 0 0.2 within 0 0.2 is not a bad estimate, is it? Not bad. Not bad for your old eyes, Tom. Not bad. So, uh, so yeah, three laps of that. It's going to be a decent race. And looking at the course at the moment, you're probably seeing on your screens there. There's, there's now we're not seeing the white caps we were before. And I'm looking at this. I'm, I'm thinking it's about 15, 16 knots out here. So here's an interesting cross. We've uh, Cunningham's just crossing the SKU here. They're Cunningham's are motoring there. Motoring. You can see Sutech and uh, Contender Sailcloth there along with Tagara. Um, they're just ducking back. They needed to clear their air a little, so they're just ducking back. Surprisingly, a lot of these boats are, are going up the middle. Um, can't see on screen at the moment, but we've got a large group of boats that heeded Clint's and my advice, and they've motored out to that uh, left-hand side, and they'll be looking for that port lay back towards the top mark. So when these two fleets converge, um, it's going to be interesting to see how it stacks up. Um, at the moment, in the right. Um, uh, we're looking at looking left side at the moment, so that's where we wanted to see. You can see a pretty large number of boats are going to that extreme left. We've got a lot of top boats like Sail Racing, Southerly, um, MC, um, your Modern Concept. There. And the, um, Noakes, the Noakes Blues out that way too, I believe. Yeah, and I was, was a bit surprised rig? where Noakes Blues started actually. They started right up at the boat end and with that big rig I would have been looking for the pin and so you could put the bow down and just, just go fast away. Yeah, yeah. Um, Get out of dodge as quick as you can. We're looking at notes there now. So there's, there's a few St George boats out to the left there, Dolly. There is, yeah, and a bit of local knowledge. Bit of local but, knowledge. But at the same time, in the in the hard right, we've got uh, guns like. Uh, Imagine signage and then coming back to the right again. We've got Cunningham's and Fluid. Um, SKE also in the hard right with Tagara. So uh, Bella Group, yesterday's winners, and CJK all in this right hand group. So uh, it's going to be whether they can find a line of pressure that's lifting to get back onto starboard and start coming back. Imagine signage have, have decided to tack and they're on their way back on starboard tack. Here comes Imi coming back across from the right. They look like they're, they're just behind fluid here in this cross. You'll see how this lineup goes. 
And, and it's starting to get a bit patchy. So, you know, there's obviously some good gusts here, but they just got to try and stay in that pressure. It's a, they're going to be balancing now between pressure and angle. Yeah, another boat that's looking looking good here at the moment is Ace, who uh, they've been they've been one of the boats that uh, I won't say they're a surprise packet, but we didn't know a whole lot about Ace. I've heard about they've been doing very well in the club racing, and they're showing really good pace so far this regatta and sailing the boat extremely well. And so far, as as in regard to the right hand group. Um, for my money, they're leading the right-hand group. They are. We're wrong, Dylan. For the minute. Yeah. <laughs> Just for now. Okay. I, I, I'd say Ace are leading this. Ace, Ace on picture now. Definitely leading the right-hand yeah. group. And in good pressure, heading over for these, these shallows. Yeah, just coming into a really good line. That's, uh, that's Ace you've got on screen there at the moment. They just got into some pressure. You see, they put the bow down a little. They're swinging hard and they've accelerated out, going like a rocket at the moment. But they, they are down on, on height, so that pressure is headed, interestingly, on this side of the course. Good sign for the next tack. It is, yeah. They don't want to go too far because that, that can dissipate. And next thing you're lifting and you'll go, wow, that was a bit late. But we're looking at a big height differential at the moment between Ace and SKE, that's for sure. The fluid boys looking good over there, Clint. Yeah, they're not going too bad. It looks like it's all holding together and the boys are all still on the boat. That's a good sign. You can see them there in the top of your picture with the dark cut black coloured sails. Oh, yeah. They're about to run into a nice one here. Hopefully they, they, uh, they, they, uh, they've just put the bow down as well. They're following Ace in. Yeah, so once again, that pressure's coming through and the pressure is right-hand pressure. So it's pretty much true south when these puffs are coming through. And you can see the landform there. That's what I was talking about before. You can see the low points in the in the in the sand dunes and the scrub there. So, so the breeze finds it a lot easier when you get up to this top end of the course. So a ace tag there. We're going to cross. Uh, yeah, it's a real close cross there between fluid and ace. Yeah. So as we said, ace ace leading this right hand group. Um, the left hand groups have a very long fetch on port to get back. Um, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this pans out when we get when we get back. And yeah, Ace still once again, they're gonna take another tack back. Ace are going back the wall. They were on quite a big header there, and there's some pressure coming. So they've they've tacked over because they started to knock. So they've tacked onto a lift and it's lifting pressure at the moment. But at some point, they've got to find a lane to get back, don't they? They do. They do. And now looking at the two, you know, they're, they're, they're down a bit of pressure on the right. The guys in the left are actually lifting and are in good pressure. They're big, high, big yeah. time high yeah. over there. Yeah. Um, Not well, far off this top mark for the first time, so... There's a run up there in your boat, uh, MCM, uh, uh, leading the judge there. Yeah, mod modern concept construction that we thought would be doing well in this breeze. And Jared Smith, uh, he loves a bit of uh, tactical sailing. Uh, he's in a very good position along with Skelcon um, and the lure of them. Uh, Zoe Dransfield in the Rotney Access. Yep. So. We'll just, get right, the, uh, right. we'll just get the camera to come around that way, Dolph. So. Yeah, right. Ryan Ewings is over in that group as well. So um, I'm thinking they're going to get there first, are they, Clint? You Thoughts? reckon left, 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 left hand's going to pay? Well, I'm, well, ho I'm hoping they are because we both picked that side, <laughs> didn't we? And I hate being made a fool of. Lucky I didn't get asked to pick a side. Well, you actually look... Uh, if we scan a little bit further, right old skill con there, their red pumps there, they're, they're on a massive lift out there. Yeah. They're the furthest step to the left. And they, they need a good result, Clint. They, um, they need a good result, yeah. yeah. They had a, a 30 something in the um, heat two yesterday, or the first heat yesterday, so. Yeah, you can see them there now, so red, red pumps on the right of your screen, but. I'm thinking they get, if they're not on a ley line, they might be overstood a bit. We're not quite in line yet, but I oh know they're looking okay. I think they've picked that ley line quite nicely, Tyler. Um, but I still think these other boats are advanced on them. 
Which skip. is always the risk of going to the corners. You want to go to the corner, you don't want to go too go far. Too far. You, you, get, do. you, you want to shift. Re- you get a shift and overstand and, and you've thrown away the advantage that you just Correct. got. Correct. Because you've sailed more distance. But uh, personally, I'd like to be where uh, Modern Concept and, uh, and Skelcon are, but they've just started to head a little bit. And if I were them, I'd be just taking a little dig back over to this uh, eastern ley line while they've got a header because otherwise they're just sailing over towards that right hand, the right hand pack that's coming in and they'll lose a little bit of that advantage. But yeah, they've kind of converged and uh, the boats that are coming in from the right that leading that group SKE Electrical, you'll see them come into shot now and they're going to cross, there they are now, they've crossed those mid boats from the left. So as it's turned out, we've had Boats sailed at opposite sides of the course and they've come out nearly even. So, but a few more, a few, a few, few more of the boats that are uh, they've come out of the left side. Um, they've they've done a little bit better, I think. As we were talking about before, we've got red pumps, red or no red pumps. Uh, Tyler Dransfield, he is on. He's a little bit overstood, but. He's picked that ley line beautifully, and they're coming in like a freight train. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Greg Winder swinging her down. They've got really good trim. That setup's looking beautiful, and they are motoring up. I think we can give ourselves a high five here, Dob. Left side. Left side. <laughs> left side. <laughs> left side, <laughs> side <mate>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not by much. There's only a couple of metres, but a couple of metres counts. Yeah, no, they're going to have about a five boat length advantage over SKE here, and and they're the two boats that went to the extremes of both sides, so really interesting how that worked out. So we've got Tyler Dransfield round first in red pumps. Then we've got Banjo Nicholson in SKE Electrical, followed by Tugara, Tommy Clout. Great first work from Tom. And what do we say here about Imagine? They were over at the start, they went back, and they are going around fifth. this top mark in fifth. Amazing yeah. effort, guys. Yeah. Skelcon, Imagine, Moonan, Daniel Turner. There's your pick. Yeah. Jared Smith in Modern Concept Constructions and the Fluid Clint. Happy days, eh? Happy days, boys. Let's go. Swell coming in. They'll be next around. They had a great race win yesterday. Really happy for those guys, and I'm sure the Belmont crowd were cheering. Ace that we were talking about, and Jimmy's smiling too because there's the fire stopping. Great beat from Alex Hart and the boys. Dominoes, Imy having a better day. They've, they've, they'll be next around with Sarah Lee and Southerly hot on their heels. So Southerly have got a bit of work to do, but... Uh, oh, oh, and they've just done a little I body just, drag. Just, but they'll, I, yeah, they'll just put the mocker on it. Wait, wait for the spinnaker <laughs> up and the on wire before you say anything more, Baser. Imy with an early jibe out Sorry, from the boys. top mark. So Hugh Stoddart might think there's a bit more pressure in the left-hand side looking downwind. In, interestingly, Moon and sort of jibed about the same time as them, just down, downwind. Yep. Downwind, yep. Fluid have followed them out. Sutek and Sale Racing, Eric Storage a little bit deeper today. They'll be looking for a bit more than that. Sutek has a very small, small rig from by the looks of it. So, And here's that. Here's Nogs going around with a big rig. You'd hope, you'd think that their big Nogs rig on downhill would, will be um, a motor. great advantage. Yeah. The supercharger They'll that you need. Truck through them. Hoist the Wampa. Nick Connor and the Cunninghams boys and NFPG a little deeper than they'd probably like to be. But there's plenty plenty of race course left here yet. There's a this is going to be a long race. There's plenty of room to be to make gains. Bruce Savage chasing um, Outback Marine, followed by Joel Beeshall in the NHS. They also have a very small little rig by the not looks a, of it. Not a great set on the NFPG. CJK a little deep for where they would like to be, and I'd imagine. We're just going to head down course a little. and see if we can catch up 
with a few of the leaders. Eric Storage on the screen there with Noakes, Lee Napton just looking to try and squeeze over the top of them. And so he's got a bit of a clearer runway to make some gains. Sail racing to lure of them. And uh, contender Sailcloth giving chase from behind. Well, I think that's mooted out in front of that little pack, followed by Fluid. So, uh, Daniel, Daniel Turner on the moon, and he'll be uh, really trying to make some big gains today, and one of uh, one of the ones to watch for sure. So we're following the left-hand boats downhill. I mean, you know, in normal racing, I'd be going the same way downhill as I came up here, the foot page. Yeah. So these guys have taken it down to the left, rather than going to the to the right as we're facing downhill. Um, to, for my money at the moment, the right boats look like they're going great down there. Yeah, same so, pressure. So left left upwind was good, and the right downwind look at the moment looks like it's it's paying. So uh, like we said, that looked like the better side of the course. I think there's a bit more pressure over on that side. But we'll see what the washout is when we get down to the bottom. And it's not that fresh. I mean, these guys will be working the boat a lot. You know, trying to chase every runner here. They'll be trying to keep it flat up like the first day when they're standing in the back of the bus. They'll be working hard here. Yeah, this is going to be a... The, the next race is going to be particularly tough, I think. And uh, we'll see if that big rig selection for Ryan Ewings can pay off down the track. He's a little, little sort of not mid-fleet so far, but yeah, there's a three-lap race and we've still got another race to go. So you can see Moonen and, and uh, Fluid have stepped back now. They're going to the right. They've seen that the advantage is in the right and they're going back there now, trying to find that pressure to take them back there. Yeah, the boats have, boats have went over further. They've, actually picked up some ground and these boats that we're looking at they have jived under a bit of pressure so so uh, they're, they're trying to take that bit of pressure back to their opposition currently looking at the leaders here on SKE SKE just touching a jive and two Gara. Very good run from Tom Clout and the boys on Tagara. Local St George crew. The key for them is going to be staying in this pressure. Be interesting to see if they put a jibe on top of uh, SKE here or continue. Um, looks like SKE with starboard advantage actually had to just head up a little bit there. They might have been doing a uh, Jimmy Spithill trying to make it look a bit worse than it was. <laughs> And now Tom's going to jog, go back with them on that gust. In, and good, in good company with uh, Fluid and, and Moonen. But uh, SKE, Banjo, Nicholson uh, took the, sort of won that little that minor battle. And now it looks like SKE are coming across to converge with, I think it's Ace and cross easily in front of Imagine, but Imagine starting to make some mid-roads into these guys. Well, after being over at the start, it's yeah. like even yeah. where Imagine's got back to, you're still going, right, that's a keep up this that's play, it's sensible from here. Yeah, yeah very good comeback, yeah. Jimmy. And, and look, in front of the fleet, you've got some options. You can you can now, you know, work on the gas. You, you know, back of the fleet, you tend to get pushed around a bit. Yeah. You can't, you can't go to the places that you want to go. Your, 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 your tactic, tactics are being determined by the boats that are around you. Correct. So here comes Tom and the boys. They're going to uh, get into this gate first. They got, looks like they're going to take the... Are they going to drive drop or are they going to drop? They're going to drop, I think, and take the left-hand turn while SKE and Skelcon take the right-hand turn. And Moonen's fighting hard there to get up to the right-hand turn, Mark. Yeah, and MCC with the spinnaker shoot, they're going to slap a jibe in here, I reckon, and do the quick douse and get inside them. Here we go. 
MCC with the white chute, you'll just see it disappear down the bow, just like that. Fluid's gone too deep there. And they're not giving them any tactical manoeuvres at this moment. Ace could oh, be a big Ace problem here. Ace a lot of trouble here, and let's hope they don't flip over into MCC. No, they're all good. Now they've got to avoid Moonen, because Moonen's on starboard. Red Pump's lost their way down that run. They did a bit, didn't they? Yeah. And in fact, Red Pump's Red getting through the gate before them. Bruce uh, Savage and the No, team. that's Eric's Oh, it's Eric. Sorry, mate. I'm looking at the red stripe. So a, a, a swell, ace, fluid, a few boats caught below the, uh, the gate. Whether or not it was a late shift, but it, it's probably a little unacceptable to sort of get yourself that low. It's a bit messy. It's very messy, Dom. Look at the gains on the uh, the big blue shoot there on the left of screen. Yeah, it's the get, blue. They better get it down, though. They're about to go around the mark. Here we go. So we're probably in, what, 12 knots now? Yeah, it's pretty, really dying. You can see uh, a lot of the crews are actually struggling now to hold two out. They crouched. Sarah Lee just had to put a little little dig in there. She was in a bit of a bit of a bingle, bit of a mess, and now she's going to tack out of there again. Stuck behind Ryan Ewings. Coming in, we're looking at the left-hand turn mark. There, you're looking at Nozomi and Sutek dropping their spinnakers there to take the left-hand turn. And it's going to be a double whammy for them downhill now because their little rig's on, breeze is dying, they'll have little boards in too. Yeah. So not much to leverage off, is there? Not much to leverage off. So uh, guys like Ryan on no blue should really get some advantage here. Yeah, well, he's still got two laps, right? This and the lead isn't that far away for him. No, it's this race it's is, definitely this in race race. a long way in striking. Ryan. So what, what I would suggest what Ryan needs to do is find a clear lane, put his bow down and go just like go. A, just go like a freight train. Because while you're bound up in a lineup, you can't can't sail utilize that rig to its uh, full advantage. So big group going out to the left, not so big group going to the right. Yeah, it's kind of been determined by which uh, which side of the gate they've taken, and yeah, a few. I think more have taken the right-hand turn, starboard turn. Although the boat that has gone hard out to the right is Imagine Signage. Well, what would a gold medal? Would you bet against him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he he knows what he's doing. That's for sure. Yeah. And, and he did OK out there on the last beat, too, so... Yeah. Um, Interesting there, 11 team just did two jibes now, like, trying to get down to this left-hand bottom mark and now going to the right-hand mark, so... Yeah, they're, they're easily confused, Jimmy. Mid-brigada, they need a bit of sleep. Forward hand just getting that last bit tucked away. C, CJK after you... Uh, Gave Gilzo the big grab. Gave them the credit, yeah. See what happens, I know. Say nothing, I know. Yeah, they've got a bit going on there, haven't Trying they? Trying to go uphill with the spinnaker at one point there. I think they're just avoiding an upwind boat and then a downwind boat. So all at once here we've got Tribeca, Thurlow, Fisher. Um, who was to weather there? I think it Kamikaze. was Bella, Bella Group, Kamikaze, Pila Hay, Pepsi Max. Little blue dinosaur, like this is just stacks on the mill in here. The camera doesn't do it justice as to what's going on. And now my young bloke, Will Devol, is trying to impersonate what uh, the CJK was doing, flapping a yellow <laughs> spinnaker madly. There they are. Well, he, he was, uh, now I'm they, just going to call, he's going he's gonna to ride the spinnaker all the way in and do a late drop there. Look he like let me down, Will. Come on. Look like they were drying the spinnaker, the amount they were letting that flap. But uh, round they go. It's still upright. Let's uh, get back up amongst the action. That's uh, just about everyone around, except for Shares and his. Yeah, there's still a, few, still a few back enders to come. But we'll head back up course and let you know what's happening up towards the front of the fleet. Employment hero going out of screen there, and now we're looking at CNG. 
Dylan getting us some lovely drone shots while we can. Apologies, we can't always have the drone up because we're so close to the airport, but we'll bring you those pictures when we can. That's a nice shot. Uh, we're heading up the, the 13s or around the top. Um, when we can tell you some, uh, tell you who's who at the zoo, we'll let you know. But at the moment, I can see Plonks in second, Cybertech, Harkin, uh, one of the Hornsby boats, but there is a boat with a red spinnaker out in front. Can we make out who that is, Jimmy, with the red tie? Is that Sail Media? Could that be. I can't make out. We will we'll let you know as soon as we can. So with the 13-foot skiffs, is this drop-in pressure really going to bother them too much at all? No, not at all. I mean, there's different size crews. There's some lighter crews and some heavier crews, which will handle things uh, to their advantage differently. But, uh, but yeah, overall, uh, for the viewers, the 13-foot skiffs only have one rig and one set of sails compared to the 16s, which have two. My, so, my sort of boat. Don't have to pick a rig. Yeah, they don't, yeah. Have, to, don't, have, don't have choices to pick too to hard. Hard. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, one size fits all in the 13 foot skiff. We're just, uh, we'll let you know how we're going here. Yeah, I think the, uh, the first 13 is Cybertech Cyber Group. Cybertech out in front. Then MCC, Plonk. Harkin. Harkin, and I think it's QED with that uh, funky coloured spinnaker just to the right of screen there. And there's the little fluid. So the Cybertech guys, they're a bit heavier. They're, they're, they're good on the first day in the blow. They're yes. good, see, right? They're good, good in the pressure. Yeah, yeah. They're they're big. They're tall, and they can sail. Great little sailors. They came through the Flying Eleven, Manly Junior Flying Eleven program at Manly, Theo and Kobe, and uh, in their first season in the uh, thirteen foot skiff, they're doing exceptionally well. And they are both extremely tall. Very yeah, both expected. Yeah. Just like, look, look, yeah, at, look at Kobe coming down here. There's Kobe. If you're on a 16, you need a crew. Go and see Kobe Napa. And look at him working that spinnaker. Who do you think he learnt that off, Clint? Whoa. Being a Napa. <laughs> Who did he learn that part that, off? I think yeah. he learned that off me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's got the family trait red gloves on, that's for sure. And giving, giving chase in the, uh, the MCC at the moment is... Uh, Tommy Millam and Tommy Cameron, they're having a great race. Well, I'm sure their, their fans back at the club will be cheering. That other red spinnaker that we thought was leading the 13s yeah, was, was in fact a 16. Yeah. Late starter, there they are. It was so a 16 they're... leading the 13s. Yeah. That's oh, how you like yeah, it. That's how you like it. <laughs> They've got a little way to go. Yeah. So yeah. we'll have a look at the 16s and just let you know what's going on. It looks to me, Clint, like the... Uh, looking to me like the left-hand group has paid big dividends this time, would you think? I would, actually, yes. It looks big. like they've been a long time out there in the right, looking for something. Yeah. That's always a dangerous and scenario to be in. When you're looking, 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 and you're not advancing. Yeah, and for my money, Daniel Turner and Skelcon, so Daniel Turner and Moonen, uh, Skelcon, uh, they've lead in from the left hand side and found the best of the pressure uh, Banjo and Jared in SKE and uh, Modern Concept Constructions gone a bit further and they're looking a little bit softer but they are high so uh, but yeah at the moment I think Moon and, uh, Moon and are looking pretty good although I don't know that they'll cross Skelcon at the moment Skelcon's just hooked onto a lovely lift Absolutely. But it, it, it's, it's one of those things when we diverge into this top mark, they look good, they look good, and then they don't. Yeah, because they need to find a lane back. It's a tricky thing. And in, in saying that, looking at the right-hand group, they're coming in back with a lot of height, but that bodes well for Ruffy as well. He'll tack on to some high pressure. So, uh, good to see Ace. Ace look like they've they got in a bit, of a, big, a bit of mess down at the bottom mark. They've come out of them really well. Obviously, that thing's got some wheels uphill. Well, yeah, even, even, even yesterday, though, 
they'll quit. Yeah. yeah they yeah. have some serious pace up with those boys. Definitely one to, I think, circle for a, uh, a race win, that's for sure. Oh, I think so, yeah, too, Jimmy. Right, Jimmy. Yeah. So that's uh, give you a look at what constructions uh, we're looking at there. So that's Jared Smith, Chris Williams and Jackson Cranfield. And uh, that one of my, with that bigger little rig, um, for my money, this today is playing right into their hands if they can sail a good tactical uh, tactical race. They're certainly going to be in the top group. And when you say they're slightly bigger, what are we talking? So their mast height, I believe, is a bit a bit higher, and they've got more sail area. So they've taken the gamble that uh, uh, that when that transition zone time comes in, which is exactly what we're looking at today. Just having that little bit of extra sail area, the little bit of extra mast height as well means that their spinnakers are, are quite a bit bigger, yeah. and uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a gamble because when it's blowing 25 plus, you've really got a lot on. You you know? Yeah. Spe well, speaking to Jared about it though, like he's hedged, like they, they they literally did go and hedge their bets on that because of what's previously happened in the class where they've gone stay ashore in 25 yeah. over, yeah, and. They feel like with Chris and Jackson, they've got the, the weight to lump it a little bit further. And Jared is one of those skippers that does hike. Um, yeah, and Chris, Chris is a real boat tinkerer and a very good sailor too. And like you say, Jimmy, they made that decision that, well, if we're not going to sail in over 25, why do we need a little, a little, little rig? Yeah, and, uh, and looking at what they've done here to the rest of the fleet up this beat, I think they've made some good decisions. They have, yeah. We would start a good tactical beat. Yeah. Um, they'll be in the top four coming around this top mark, is my prediction. Still got a little way to go to the top mark, viewers, but um, but no, they're, they're looking in good shape. And as I say, with that extra sail area, if they sail a good downwind here, they could... Uh, really move up and maybe get in, get themselves into the lead but with the uh, with the like the company they're keeping at the moment Skelcon, SKE and Moonen they're definitely not going to have it their own way that is one thing for sure just that last shot of Skelcon was lovely lads that one there that's a great shot yeah. Gee, it's, it's getting patchy up this top end though. Still managing to hold two, which is which is good. They would have those little rigs grunted right up though, wouldn't they? So we're just looking here, just Jimmy's just showing me the um, results, the overall at the moment with modern concepts on 28. So a good result. Good the result. Will actually put They've them got a big drop. Put in the money. Big drop there. Big drop there. And when do the drops come into play? After end, the second race end today. Of today. Right, okay. If we get two in today, they'll get their first drop. This is like moving day. Moving day at the golf. It is indeed. Yeah. 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 You're still playing golf, Bozo? <sighs> yeah, not very well. <laughs> <laughs> well, though, Jay Atkins, he organised me a game at Pimble the other day. Very, very nice of him. Thank you, Mr. Atkins. Yeah, where's the big Jaybird going? There's Henry Macon, first around, top mark. The full, the, full, the full Macon compliment on board there, Dol. It is indeed, yeah. Well, I'd say, I'd say uh, Jay would be firmly nestled into the couch, right, watching watching every minute of this coverage. <laughs> yeah. Moon and opting for Moon the and opting job. for an early jibe here. So he thinks there's a bit more pressure over on the western side of the track, but... Uh, if, they're, they're, they're if you're look, looking down the track at Skelcon right now, they are motoring. I think they're, at the moment they're on it. Bit of an untidy jibe set from Moon and there, but away they go. So you're looking at Skelcon just putting in a jibe now. So big mover up this one has been inside the building. Inside, they've come out. They've come out of that right hand side. Rod Carter, nice yeah. job. Big, yeah. big Flano. Speaking of tall units, big Flano on the sheet. Yeah, they made big moves from them on that beat. Um, and we're just seeing Domino's Imagine and Fluid coming into play here. Closely followed by...
botany Botany access access and southerly gee zoe not much between zoe and uh and sarah today they've been neck and neck all day so that's that's bartley there doll behind oh is it bartley yeah jeepers so you can see the difference there. Imagine went around that, that bottom mark. I, I think they would have had at least a minute on the fluid and fluid have closed that gap up that beat. Yeah, well, Sarah and, uh, Sarah and Zoe were right together last beat and I saw that grey hull and thought it was them again. But no, it's uh, it's Dan Bromelow and his team on, on Bartley having a... a Whoa! Oh, oh, this is lost messy. A, we lost a man on the ace. Yeah, but he was avoiding a boat that jived onto port. So Just throw the human handbrake out the side. Yeah. He was going to go straight through the side of Botany then. I don't think they were intending on doing a jibe set, the ace, but they were forced to jibe. <laughs> They're doing one now, Doll. They yeah. certainly are. Once they get a bloke on board, they can actually put the spinnaker up. We might hear more of that later. I think we might. Red pumps, they had a bit of a loss on that... Uh, last beat but they're they're around and they're coming and now we've got sarah lee there she is that's the gray boat i was looking for closely followed by imy erics and the ever charging noakes youth with the big rig come uh, on ryan you let's can... watch this down they're going around the they're going around the corner here with imy let's see how they go At least Ryan's sort of done the right thing there, having the big rig get below yep. the boats around you and try and get that separation and get out of there. Yeah, a lot of people really pushing the limits there. And then we've got Sail Racing, NFPG, uh, Noakes, three of our big heavy hitters. Um, and they're in the teens at the moment. That isn't what they're looking for today. Joel Bichel in the NFPG and Contender. Wishard, so good. And Sutek. I'd expect Sutek to have uh, finished running a little bit further up the field. Yeah, but it's a, it's a very little, little rig on the Sutek, though. That makes all looks. Like, it looks very small. So, uh, Steve, if you're watching, you might need a bigger second rig. Yeah. Um, That's... Cunningham's a bit deep as well, and I'm pleased to say Employment Hero have made a big gain on that deep. They were very deep at the gate, and they've moved up nicely, so hopefully they continue to do that. And we're just passing CJK there. They've got a lot of ground to make up. God, you suck them good, Bozo. Yeah, nice pick, Bozo. They'll, they'll be... Seeing you back at the club to see John okay, I'm, I'm running as soon as I'm off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really put the commentator's purse on those poor lads. <laughs> Sorry, Milgo. So, we're just making our way down course now. You're looking at Bartley and, uh, and Swell. Uh, they'd be looking, I'm guessing, around the 15, 16, 17 mark. Uh, just outside, somewhere just outside the top 10 anyway. Um, Jimmy's, Jimmy's not writing the numbers down for me yet. So, uh, Wade, Wade he does that nicely, does that for me at the finish, so I know what I'm talking about. I need someone to look after me. Imagine signage there on a nice little vein of pressure by the looks of it. Their boys are stretched out. They're trying to wind up the boat speed. Big Bretto swinging it out. Trying to, they've made up a bit of ground there, I think, and uh, giving chase to the dominoes fluid. That bunch of boats are currently in uh, about six, seven, eight. Probably, probably imagine in six, very tight with fluid. Fluid's just going to jive. Come back across to imagine. Good tactic. Stay close to your opposition. Just having a look at the 13 style. It, it, I mean, it looks like it's fairly steady in terms of the positions that was before. Yeah. I've noticed that Evix are sort of back in tenth or so. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be, I mean, looking, they'll be looking to make some gains and also uh, show all the my girls in the uh, Botany 
are a bit deep on that first run, but it looks like they're making a bit of a comeback on this beat. Skelton first round the bottom mark with They've about a, quite, uh, quite a lead. 75 metre lead over Daniel Turner's booted yachts and uh, Banjo Nicholson in SKE Electrical coming in hot. Just see Matt Sten apply his trade in the bow of the Moonen. As always, that spinnaker's tucked away nicely, and Fabulous away drop. we go. Oh, he's not out yet, though. We have a small issue there. He's out. He's out. He's out now. What they what they do? We were talking about it yesterday. What they do is, at the moment, the sheet hand's having a steer, and and Daniel Turner Ruffy has gone forward, and he's just tidying up the. Uh, tidying up the spinnaker so that's we we're talking about why they have the double tiller that's exactly when it comes in handy that's the quickest the boat ever goes mate when the skipper hands the tiller <laughs> over to the sheet end they yeah. always say that yeah you know we used to have uh three trapezes on and 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 i'd actually go out in the drop in the drop i used yeah. to do the same yeah. too clint yeah but no one seems to do that anymore no, i think it's it, it's more so revolves around the jibes yeah, and I, I once we stopped doing that, I found it much more comfortable to steer and hike, not wearing a trapeze belt. Yeah, right? I agree. But yeah, the yeah. few times I started with Clint, Lisa was nice enough. He'd pull the skipper's trap wire back for out the job. Get it out of the way. Everyone yeah. else would leave it in your way and be like, they'd be yelling at you while you're tangled up in the bottom of the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's nothing worse than a trap hook in the eye, is there, or a trap a trap ring in the eye no. as you fly across. <laughs> so we're going to have Dominoes taking the left hand gate in fifth place. We're going to have a very tight rounding here. Oh, no. Fluid decided to do the right thing and Buffalo Girls round the outside. So imagine in six, Fluid in seven. And that's <laughs> Phil Harmer there in the bow. He's normally on the sheet for us, but he's uh, he's gone to the bow. Yeah, but if Fang said, oh, I want to do the sheet, you'd put Fang on the sheet. Yeah, you would. If, if Fang yeah. said, I want to steer, you'd put him, in, put him steering. You yeah. don't argue yeah. with Fang. I'm not arguing with Fang either. <laughs> Yeah, uh, one of the one of the nicest guys in sailing, Fang Warren. Yeah. So he's Ransfield next around in Botany, and Tom Clout still having a great race. They're they're, uh, they're showing some pace today. The Tugara, um, St George crowd will be happy to see that. <coughs> next up, we'll have Swell continuing their run of good races. They're a bit of a pressure jibe drop here, though. Here we go. And with the spinnaker shoot, they did that quite easily. With a normal drop, that would have been a difficult manoeuvre. And, and that's when the spinnaker shoot just comes into its own. It is, yeah. yeah. Next round, we've got the Southerly, very closely followed by Ace and Bartley. Bartley having a glamour. They're having an absolute glamour. Here comes a little general. Bit of a game to him on that run. And also the red pumps have come back into it here. I'll tell you Super what, he's, um, Lee's beaten Ryan down with the uh, the big rig. Yes, yeah. but they sailed opposite sides of the course. So. Yeah. And not too much difference here. Remember we said at the top, Mark, Noakes and Imey, so it looks like the little rigs are still holding their own downhill. Yeah. That was a bit of, bit of a wild, wild drop from the, uh, the Noakes there. Noakes Blue. They, they might get a few tips from uh, Ryan's father, Dave, who is probably one of the greatest forward hands of all time. They so, might want to get that sheet under control before they fire the tack line next time. So imagine went hard out to the right on the last beat. Now they're looking like they're going hard <laughs> out to the left. <laughs> so go figure. Yeah. 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 NHS taking the left gate, TTR on the other and then first state landing first state landing next round that's jack's jack's big uh yeah. signage budget <laughs> yeah. oh yeah throw it all at it <laughs> I think so far so good next so round. far so good in the su tech so far so good let so, that drop so good that that drop wasn't so not good. so good <laughs> Yeah, and don't forward hands love it when their skipper does that too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but she's a nice young lady. You'd be, yeah. 
watching your P's and Q's. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I watch my P's and Q's so, anyway. So excuse me, maybe next time we can just... Uh, <laughs> Give me just some a little bit more space. <laughs> just put it in triplet. <laughs> Over on that other gate, we've just had Tribeca and Red Pumps Red. No. And following up from them in a little bit of strife, no, they're okay, is Cunningham's. And behind them, we're going to have Employment Hero and Out Back. Get back up and uh, get back onto the lead of this one, and we'll probably pick up the 13s almost at the same time. Yeah, coming in on that tail end of that little group, we've got uh, Fireball and CJK. CJK really appreciating Clint's um, predictions today. I'll give you the big anchor off the front if you want, Bozo. You can go and drop that off to Gil <laughs> and just say Merry Christmas. <laughs> I don't dare. Stop mentioning my name. And, <laughs> and oh, see, that's that. another clip that I'm no, talking about. So for our 13 fans uh, at home and back at the clubs, we've had uh, Cybertech have extended their lead even further. They, they, they're really rocketing along today. Um, and they're followed by Harkin in second. So Harkin's taken some places. I think they were fourth or fifth down that last week. Yeah, they picked up a few more. They had a good lead, obviously. But Cybertech, uh, Theo Franklin and Kobe Napper, they are having a blind around here today. Absolutely motoring down when they are at the moment. That's them when you can see Harkin just jive behind them. Um, as always, the camera lies. There is probably 150 metres between those two boats at the moment. Yeah, at least, at least. And I think Evex have just said probably done two or 300 metres around the top mark. So I think they're back in 10. Yeah, they're pretty deep. So at the moment, we've got Cybertech, um, Heidi Bates, and Orlando Sadleg in Harkin, and then Avril in the Plot Cafe. And behind them will be Modern Concept Constructions. Those Harkin, the Hark guys and Harkin are selling that beautifully. You know, a little bit into windward, just uh, very comfortable ripping, yeah. it, ripping it downhill. Nice and flat, getting down. Nice flat. Yeah, yeah. So on screen there now, you're seeing uh, Modern Concept. Uh, Tommy and Cameron on the hill. And the orange, orange shoots cheeky. Oh, that's cheeky, is it? They're having a good one. They're having a blinder. Thank you, Jimmy. My eyes aren't good enough to see that far. And then next that'll come into shot will be the, the little fluid. So Zach Wyatt steering the, the cheeky. And then we've got Donnie Rollinson. William. And Liam Karunaratne on the fluid. They'll be loving it out here, the boys. They like a good time, those two lads. They do. They're <laughs> here for a good time. <laughs> and uh, if any ladies out are out there, they might want to follow their social media. Oh, they're running hot, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going viral. I always yeah, love uh, oh, Ronston. I always laugh at the um, at the the little fluid guys. They um, they always wave to me and say, "Hey, hey, how good are we going?" And they're normally capsized at the time. <laughs> Just after. Uh, it's great for the sponsors, lads. I'll put the name on the bottom of the boat next time. So back to the 16s. We're just going to take you into the thick of the action now as we move up course again. Uh, we've got modern concept. Just the lured of Mooned in a controlling position at the moment, but they're both trailing uh, behind Skelcon. Skelcon still with a nice lead. Jared there working pretty hard. He's really hiking into that. Good on you, Jared. So there's yeah. obviously still plenty of pressure for the Little Rigs, which is great to see. We haven't run out yet. Yeah, just where we are now, Clint, looking out the window. Look, that's an increase in pressure, it I is. think. Yep. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, good yep. sort of 15, 17 there, which is lovely.
So quite nice up the, the top end of the course here at the moment and uh, hopefully this pressure hangs around until they get around this top mark and get kites up. And they can use that pressure to get back down course. Now the, 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 uh, the, there's a bit of a roll of the dice, the fluid's gone out hard right and imagine they're going out to the left and uh, looking at it right now, I'd say imagine I've got them. Yeah, I think you're right, mate. Yeah, fluid a whole long way in the in the west side of the course, aren't they? Yeah. They're, uh, they're, it looks like they're ducking into the sailing club for a sausage sandwich. They look like going back for an early one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long way back from there. Yeah. They're, they're not chip, chip, chipping. Clint. They're not chipping. They're not chip, chip, chipping. <laughs> All right. All right. Skelton leading in. They're about to go past the Botany 13. I think I saw them in the having a little dip before. So the big gains that they made on the last beat was soon lost with a mistake, I think. So three Makins on the Skelcon. Yep. They'll obviously all get on quite well. Well, you'd hope so. <laughs> yeah, you'd hope so. <laughs> Steve-O and I used to always like to have Andy in between the two of us. Well, you know, as a, as a coach, I, I could never... I, I, the only siblings that I coached that got along with the Dransfields. Right, okay. So all the Dransfield kids over the years have sailed together at one point or another, and uh, they were fantastic. Most of the other siblings that sailed together, including my own at one point, um, yeah, didn't end well. Yeah, you, there, there, you, there's often a bit of a buffer when you don't know the, when they're not family. <laughs> like you said, mate, if, you, if you're in a three-handed boat, put a big bloke in between. <laughs> yeah. Set on our new blokes. <laughs> so still, still pretty tight here as we get up towards the top end of the course. For the final time. And a run to the finish and then we do it all again. It is indeed. Oh, the excitement galore here. I'm on, the, I'm on the edge of my seat, Clint. I can barely contain myself. Moonan and uh, MCC have actually overstood this top mark. Uh, Skelcon picked a slightly better line. They're, they're on an easy lay. Um, great shot there looking at Skelcon. And we'll see them come in, ease a bit of gear. You'll see the skipper just easing some bang in Cunningham as we're approaching. Looks like he's doing that now. And you'll see them get the boat down nice and flat and he'll rip it away. Here we go. In they go. Kite going up. And that's pretty well textbook there. What Very good. Windward, yeah. windward set. And windward that windward set, set, for a windward set, set that was beautiful. an absolute gem. Glamour. Kite Jeff. didn't flap at all. Let's, let's see how good uh, the Moon and crew can do here. Here we go. Yeah, once and again. that was excellent to glamour. No, I'd, I'd, I'd actually say he got him by about five metres there. Yeah. With the spinnaker shoot, the kite flaps, but it comes out quick and away they go. So you want to wonder why those three guys are at the front of the fleet? Yeah. There's no, there's no, there is a good reason. Yeah, for the youngsters out there watching, that's how you do it. So there's Moonen now. He's chasing hard, and he's you know he's basically going to try and match it with uh, Skelcon. Yeah, and, and just try and outdo him for pace. Try and outdo him, and just put a bit of pressure on him. I'm not sure it'll work. The makings are pretty cool under pressure. Next around, Banjo Nicholson in SKE, Nathan Wilmot in Imagine, and then Rod Carter in on Insight. We've got about uh, three or four boat lengths separating each of those boats. They're, they're, they're a bit separated from the top three, so we're going to have two battles. The battle for first, second and third, and the battle for fourth, fifth and sixth. Next in, we'll have Dominoes and Fluid, followed by Botany Access, 
followed by now right this time, aren't I, Jimmy? We've got Sarah Lee giving chase to Zoe this time. I've got the right this, grey. Yeah, I've so got, got the right grey boat this the time. The big S for Sarah. Yeah, I've got the right grey boat this time. Surprisingly, Clint, looking at those those four boats and we're down pressure, they're all very easy on the bank. Very, yeah, surprisingly. A lot of twist. And there's not a lot of bump either to sort of require that. Obviously, they're finding that works for them out here. Yeah, and it's a constant process of adjustment. Following that group, folks, uh, just so you know where everyone is, we've got Tagara, Ace, Swell, followed by Eric's, Sail Racing, NFBG, and Notes Youth. Bartley still hanging in there, and Imy and Red Pumps giving chase to that aforementioned pack. And we're just ripping down here to these leaders, and I don't think we're putting anything into Skelcon at the moment. We've got to do exactly what they're about to do now, just yeah. start throwing some start throwing throwing jobs at them. So it gets a bit noisy for you at home while we're uh, full noise going down the course here, but uh, we'll do our best to keep talking to you and letting you know what's going on. Skelcon have now jived back to match Moonen. And they're not panicking, they're just going when they think the best pressure is. They're, 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 they weren't even matching going through them then, they're just going to find their spot to go. Keep yourself between your opposition and the next mark. That's, uh, yes, is the key. That way the other boat won't get any pressure or shift that you don't get. And, uh, yeah, the Macon boys are doing a superb job at the moment. And, uh, gee, the last few races they'll be cheering up at the Belmont 16 foot skip club, won't they? they sure will. Big shout out to the Belmont lads, Belmont Mafia. Am I allowed to say that? Only because they called you the Manly Mafia. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they do that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Money, money, doing your money laundering, buying hamburgers <laughs> and chips. <laughs> Uh, we've had a lot, we've had a lot of great battles with the Belmont guys, but we're all good mates. And that's um, at the end of the day, that's what it what it comes down. That's to. a great thing about yeah. skiff sailing. Yeah. yeah, indeed it is. Now, now I'm just used to getting a, a ribbing over how good Newcastle are going and how bad Manly are going. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see there the uh, the difference between the two boats at the moment and. Uh, Skelcon's just picked up a little bit of pressure, which is going to help them consolidate their position at the moment. A um, little bit deeper, same pace. So at the moment they're making a bit of a gain on Moonen. Um, Moonen, Moonen want to be a little, I think they're fine at the moment, but they don't want to forget about uh, modern concept constructions. Um, but at the moment I think they're pretty safely safely in second at the moment, yeah. but uh, MCC will certainly be happy to pick up a third place today and uh, with a race to go, um, they'll be looking to consolidate on that in the next race as well. So at the end of this race here, obviously there's a lot of mixed results. Um, we, we, we get an update on the series point score at the end of this race, Dor. Oh, they might take a little while to uh, to get those points calculated. They're pretty quick. We They're might, pretty we, quick. We, we'll get them during the race, that's for sure. Yeah, we may not get them before the next race, but... Uh, I'll, I'll tell you how good they are. If you're following the 13s, jump online now. The results are already online. How's that for a clean head day? It's incredible, yeah. So, in the 13s, for the viewers at home, Cybertech Group, they won that race from Harkin. Cheeky was third. Ebix got back to fourth. Wow, incredible. Uh, Plonk was next. Black Cat, Fluid, Sal Media, and then Ronston. That's excellent. And who's doing the results? Are we doing the results live off the starters? Yeah, um, on the start finish, but the, yeah. it's actually a pretty Schmick little outfit. You've got uh, obviously PRO's uh, Peter Tinworth, you've got Jack Andrew on there, I think Brad Andrew's on there. It's uh, the cast of thousands and they're doing a fabulous job. Oh, so here we here we go. 
there we've got uh, Skelcon, Henry Bacon coming into the finish full noise. We've almost got a perfect shot lined up here and Dylan's got a great drone picture for you there and they're over for the win. Well done Skelcon. Fantastic win to the boys. Uh, I reckon that Daniel Turner and the boys will be very happy with a second place today. That's a banker. That's a banker. <laughs> for sure. And there comes Modern coming in here now. And look, they've had a great race too. And as you predicted, the, the bigger little rig and probably some bloody good sailing. Both of them own. All of yeah. the above, yeah. yeah. Look, they sailed a great race tactically and their crew work was impeccable. And and uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, if this breeze continues to, to peter out a bit. They should have a good next race as well. So they're just coming in now about to cross and, and and you would think now after this first race the rest of the crews have worked out where they want to be positioned on the course on you mean? the course yeah yeah you would hope well you'd hope but you know we saw boats go to both sides of the course and you know we were talking before about where your boys were though you couldn't have been any further right than they were but they ended up getting back into the group in not bad shape i think they lost a little bit i think they lost about a minute yeah 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 i i, I think still hard left is I, or left I, is is, is i pay. agree percentage yeah. pay i agree yeah next boat to come in we have a pretty close battle imagine for, in, uh, a, in a pretty tight run to the finish here but it looks like to me like imagine are going to uh take fourth place g and close here between ske will just steal a place from inside great result for uh Rod Carter there, and also Banjo Nicholson showing some consistency. This will be uh, close here between Fluid and Subtly. Real close. Subtly managed to get in front of Botniak is down this run. And Domino's leading both those boats in. Domino's next in. Oh, this is going to be it. tight, Clint. Yeah, it's going to be real tight. I've got a horrible feeling Subtly might get there. Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. mate. Yeah. We'll give it to Subley. By a nose. By, <laughs> by a pole. Next up, Zoe Dransfield and team in Botany Access. Well, they've had a great result. We'll, we'll see if uh, Ace are flying a flag when they come down. Yeah, with, that was messy, wasn't it? But, yeah, often, often people will leave that stuff on the water and... And that's yeah. the beautiful thing about skiff racing, yeah, unless right. it's completely blatant. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, generally people are just too lazy to turn up at the process. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is, Tom? I reckon. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do a yeah. lot of other sailing regattas where it's not quite to do. so relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. And then as a coach, I go, what, you didn't put a flag up? What? For that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the trade-off is you're going to be in a protest room till, you know, 7, 8 o'clock at night. Yeah, or back there at 9 o'clock in, in the, the morning. morning. And, yeah. and what's that going to do to your next day? Yeah, yeah. Lee Napton, next over. Got out of jail with a ninth there. Yeah, yeah, top ten. The ace boys. Yes, I can't see a flag flying. No, there, flag flying. Yeah. Enough. yeah, they've forgotten about it already, yeah, don't yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. what? What? Which mark round <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> and here's our boys on the next blue. Yeah, Tagara, Tagara next over. That's a good race from Tom and the boys. Swell, ever consistent, those guys. Then uh, Ryan Ewings and the team on Noakes Youth. And we're going to have... Red pumps getting very... Yeah. Yeah, Local. this is going to be tight. Sail Racing are going to get the best of the best of this from oh, Eric's. 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 Have you got a red spinnaker? Finish yeah. at the uh, checker yeah. mark. Oh. And then looks like Nozomi, then red oh. pumps. Well, oh, this is messy. This is very messy. <laughs> There's red spinnakers everywhere. <laughs> Imy next across. A little disappointing for Imy, I'd say. 
Yeah. 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 Still, it's not a 37. So it's not a 37, and yeah. and and it happens so quickly. But, yeah. but you know. Rob Rob will be treated like it's a 37. Yeah, man. I know. But yeah, look, he'll, he'll uh, want to come out swinging very hard the next. Contender next over, Will. Um, but yeah, look, you look at how close. You know, they they were just on the back of six boats crossing nose to tail or side by side. Mm. And the difference between a 13th or 14th and a 20th. Big numbers. Yeah, no, big numbers. Yeah. Nick Connor is just over in the uh, the Cunninghams. He was deep, so he made some gains. Next is TTR. Yeah, yeah Barley went around that bottom mark in seventh yeah, or so. Yeah. yeah, they got a bit lost up there, but that's them crossing now. And then first state lending from St George. But the good thing is that they'll probably look back at that and say, well, we can know, do it. We can do it. We can yeah. be there. We can mix it up with them. We just, we've just got to, you know, be a little bit more consistent, maybe a little conservative, maybe hang with the good guys and just work harder on the boat speed. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. Uh, that's some pretty good advice, isn't it, Bozo? Like, if you're not sure, stick, go where the good guys are going and... Just try and concentrate on the boat speed is the key. And, yeah. and, and look, Jimmy, and how many times have you seen it when you're out training and there's two boats and two boats will go super fast together? Yeah. Because you're both working exceptionally hard. You're not falling asleep for 20 seconds and letting that boat go, you know. You're losing, you know, not, not was boat speed. Well, back, back in the day when we used to train against each other, wasn't necessarily slacking off for any other reason than the bloke barking at us from the uh, coach boat. <laughs> They're very, very true. But you, you, you don't want to let that other boat go. No. So, so, so you know, for the you work for, hard for the guys that are coming up. If you go around the bottom mark and you're with Lee or you're with Imagine or you you're with um, Ruffy, you know, stick with them. Yeah. Work hard. Just work on boat 100%. speed. Work on height and just stay with them because you sure as hell will end up in a reasonable spot at the top mark. But yeah, as you say, Clint, you know, when, we've, when we've got boats crossing, six boats crossing within a second of each other, you know, depending on what side of that bunch you're on, you know, you could be 11th, you could be 20th, you could be... Yeah. T totally. And, and, and the natural reaction is often to go, OK, I'll just bail out of this and I will get a miracle somewhere. Yeah. And you just won't get that miracle. No. No. There are no miracles out there. There are no miracles. It's just hard work. Uh, and I always remember Ann King off the start line. You know, we were a little bit like maybe boxed off the start line, and he was a great one to say, Bozo, let's just grind, 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 grind. And, and you know, it's it's a matter of inches, 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 and suddenly you've got a foot, suddenly you've got metres, suddenly you're ahead and it's, you're in a controlling position, but you've just got to grit your teeth and keep at it. Yeah. Just get it. Zip across the course here. Just looking at some of the the next bunch of boats come through. We had we had, we had a big bunch of boats go through that included uh, fire stopping and. Uh, There's one of the heat winners from yesterday, Bella Group, just crossing now. Yeah, Bella Group coming in a bit deep, uh, just ahead of the um, fireball. What does Bella Group do? I don't know, Clint, but would you like to Google it? I'm, let us know. I'm on it. I'm on it. Unless Chits is on it. <laughs> so CJK, I haven't then the Hunter Health so and then we can, No Sense. Maybe if we give him a shout out with then something good, we might get a bit of a bit of product. Well, there you go. I should know. They're in the building game. They're a door manufacturer. Door manufacturer. Okay. They don't sound like a. They don't. I thought. Uh, I thought it must be like. Uh, you know, Come like on. creams and potions. Well, that's, what I was, that's, what I, that's what I was thinking. You know, maybe, maybe it's a salon somewhere and you, you and I could go and get a facial. Oh, well, yeah. now, now we get we, a new door. We'd be there all day. Now, so, I hope I'm right there, Belly Group. If I'm wrong, send me a message. Hopefully we've got the send right Belly Group. Yeah. yeah. Next across will be Kamikaze from Middle Harbour. Oh, hang on. I've got a Belly Group. He's a kitchen manager supplier as well. Oh, here no, we go. Hang on, hang on. That's oh no, grass one. cutting. Excuse me, Bella Group, you're cutting grass. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like they're sinus, doesn't it? That yeah, that's it. Mulching, well, shrub work, weed control. Well, that, that's uh, that's a service you definitely don't need, Clint, because you've been cutting people's grass for years. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 
boom, boom, boom, boom, boom. Thank you, Dolly. You okay? There's another race to go here. Uh, where was Belly Group? Oh. Well, we'll have to go back. Okay. Yeah, I'm going back. I'm guessing they're up in the Lake Macquarie area. There's the uh, Queenslanders that was over and didn't go back. Yeah. Unfortunate for them. A lot of effort for them for nothing. And unfortunately for some of these uh, boats that finish first, like, like you know, we're right sort of down at almost the bright in the sands how far down the uh, in Botany Bay we are. Um, you know, the club's just that little bit too far if you wanted to go into a rig change if you wanted the lead boats. And, oh, yeah, unfortunately, no. yeah. You know, yeah. there's a, a few venues that the 16s um, go to that, you know, the start is right yeah. in front of the club and there's an opportunity there if you've got a half-decent crew that are quick at rigging and unrigging. It doesn't have to be pretty, but um, you can get in, change a rig and get back out. You know, interesting you bring that up, Jimmy, because you know what you don't see much of these days is shore crew. No, you do you not. Know, so you go go back to ye olden days, you know. What, when like, I, when what I, I will feel someone. When, when I was is that a, how far back you're going? <laughs> but, you know, back in the day, especially in the 18-footers, but a lot of the top 16 guys had, had a shore crew. Um, and, uh, yeah, they were always... They'd help rig, they'd help unrig, and in the case of an emergency, they'd be running around in a, in a boat with spare parts and stuff and driving to regattas as a co-driver to do the long drives and stuff like that. And I, I don't think I see anyone with a shore crew these days. Well, I'm fluid to say I'm a shore crew, but it's just not a good one. <laughs> so this Bella group here, well, you got, you got mostly Dion, the You've got Coast. Dion with uh, the fire stopping. Yeah. Well, Dion's the manager. The manager, is yeah. he? Yeah. Most of the East Coast. Looks like they've got a place in uh, South Australia there. So they're big? They're, they're big. They do lots of stuff. Actually, they're, they're, doing, the grass they're, doing, they're doing a lot more than grass cutting. They're doing all sorts of things. They're big. We, we need bigger signage from Bella Group, please. Noted. Noted. Should, should we get up to some mischief and see what else we can get Clint to Google? Oh. <laughs> really oh, stitch him up. You know you know he's off to uh yeah, it's Clint's off to last, Japan, aren't you? It's, Clint, it's Clint's last day with us today, so we should stitch him up. Yeah. <laughs> but because like, you haven't already stitched him up. Yeah, exactly. He so, has he has feelings, you know. Well, he's stuffing his face with lollies, so he's going to get diabetes anyway. So uh, just recapping the uh, results from race four. First, Skelk on the, the Macon Boys. Brilliant effort from the Belmont Club. Second, Moon and Yachts. Third, Modern Concept Constructions. Fourth, Imagine Signage. Fifth, SKE. Sixth, Insight. Seven, Dominoes. Eighth, Subtly. Nine, Fluid. 10th Botany Access, 11 Noakes and 12th Ace. And in the 13 foot skiffs, Cybertech Group, Theo uh, from the Manly Club. Second was Harkin, third was Cheeky, fourth Ebix, fifth Plonk. Then we had Black Cat, Fluid, Sail Media, and then Ronston. And um, seems though the, uh, the Botany Scaffold girls had a bit of a shocker. Looks Why don't like we uh, hear uh, from... <laughs> from peacocks to feather dusters. They yeah, had a win well, yesterday. Uh, they had, they had yeah. a win yesterday and I went and had a little chat with uh, with Sophie on the, the botany. So uh, we got that. We'll uh, play that little video. Here with uh, Race 2's winner, Craig from the Bella Group. That's not uh, Sophie, but... Uh, Stella Hold on. Just having some technical difficulties. It's not not technical. The uh, the lolly jar just went around the boat, so everyone's a little bit with, sugared, uh, up. sugared up, sugared up, and pressing <laughs> buttons. From the Bella Group, uh, Stella. There's the guys from the Bella today. Group that I caught yeah, up with so yesterday we, on that we got one. Got the start line all right, and then kind of worked our way through the pack of the We'll get there. Um, and so we'll do the Bella Group one first. Yeah, so How's that for an idea? Dived off. We saw. Good line of pressure, and yeah, I think we were around third at the bottom mark. And then 
everyone else kind of went um, left and we went right and it paid off and then it's just two boat race from there with us and Noakes and we even managed to come out on top today but it was a good race. Yeah, yeah, I've had a red hat for basically all the sailing I've done so yeah, just a little tradition I have. Alright, I'm here with uh, the winner of Heat 2 of the Australia 13 for Skiff titles, uh, Sophie Hart. Congratulations, Soph. Thank you very much. Must be pretty stoked. Uh, unfolded very funny for the yeah. finish. Yeah, it was definitely take? surprising. You know, it was a bit... weren't expecting it, but, you know, yeah, we're definitely happy with it. And did you know what you had to do compared to what you've seen happen with the Harkin, or you guys just winged it? Um, well, not really, but we saw what they did and then, you know, kind of went from there, but, yeah. No hooter for no them, hooter so, for them, so sort of gave just you a went with a, it, yeah. What do we do? Yeah, I saw it in the sailing instructions, but I wasn't really too sure, <laughs> so, yeah, but we're definitely happy with it, but... Yeah, it's great. I uh, know Dolly, who's Bella's dad, was on. He's on with us for the week. He was stoked, so uh, he was cheering. I believe Dad was cheering. Yeah, I think he was pretty happy. So. Yeah. Team manager. Yeah. Of course. And um, great sponsor in the Botany Scaffold guys. Yeah, Botany huge, Access. Yeah, huge support from them. So definitely happy with that. There you go. Got, finally got around to it. Uh, yesterday's winners of a few of the races, and um, what, I'm just waiting for I think the last boat now to finish, which is Eric's just about to come into shot there. Eric's removals. So yeah, well the the girls the girls were very excited to take their first win of the nationals in the in the 13s, Jimmy, but uh, they were at the same time they felt quite bad for uh, Heidi and Orlando who made that error um, at the finish with the with the shortened course. And well, it was quite confusing because the committee took away one of the rounding marks, put the boat there, and then the checkered flag, uh, the checkered boy was still yeah in the water. You know, you can't. Blame Heidi and uh, Orlando for that, but uh, you know they, they were. I actually asked them the question yesterday, and they were okay. That's fine. Like you know, we yeah, no, they they took, took it well. It well, yeah. they took it very well. So yeah, and and but yeah, the, I'm saying the girls actually did feel for them. Oh, you um, got it. And although they would kind of worked out what was going on, they'd also seen how the skiffs were going through, and figured that was the way to do it. Um, but yeah, disappointing for the Harkin team. Um, they were in the lead and and deserved the win. But uh, yeah, they're bou they're bouncing back already. They did win the next race, and they just racked up another second. Um, so yeah, they'll be they'll be back in. And they, even after their mistake, they still got I think it was fifth. So yeah, um, they're 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 a long way from not out of this regatta yet. That's for sure. And for the viewers at home, 16 foot skip results are up from this race. So, can uh, jump race on Race results, there. or have we got overalls as well? I think the race results go up, which triggers the overalls to uh, get up, up to upgraded yeah. straight away. So, there you go. The boat finished a minute ago, the last boat, and the yeah. results are already up. So, amazing. there you go. It's amazing. Now I've just I've just had um, I've just had a message from Pilchards to say that the Belly Group is a cleaning company. Who, who sent you that? Pilchards. Pilch. Really? Hey, thank you, mate. Thanks, Jimmy. Now, <laughs> I, as I look around, I mean, um, the skiffs are heavily sponsored. Who do, who do you reckon is the best-looking sponsored skiff? Oh, oh, the fire stopping, the definitely. The employment hero, definitely. <laughs> yeah, really. And you're going to say the flu, are I'm you? not, actually. I'm going to say the man flu just stands out like pups nuts. It does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, look. The Moona looks excellent, too. I mean, it's they've, they've got the spinnaker. They've, they've got the... Um, you know, the signage on the sails. I think the black really makes the signage stands out, though. Yeah. And the fluid... I must say, Clint, the fluid does look good. And, yeah, and it's distinctive. 
Easy to see. Easy to see. Yep. We and there was a skiff actually called Easy to See back in the day. <laughs> Was yeah. weren't they the company that made the calendars for <laughs> companies? I think from memory. But no, I think the Cunninghams is a good looking boat. Yeah. Always, always like the signage on the Cunninghams. It's easy to pick as well. Yeah, it's, I think it's worth putting a bit of time into your into your your colours and the look of the boats. Yeah. You know, certainly noticeable. I mean, a lot of these sponsors are probably sponsoring for the love of it and not looking for a, a return. Yeah. However, you know, I think just to have your name on the sails and be be supportive, people in the class support the people that are in the class. Yeah. Which and is, they do. Which is important. They yeah. do. Yeah. They do. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's a good looking boat. There's a good looking boat. Yeah. Dutch what do those, what are those fluid guys do? They're, they're one of Sydney's leading remedial Clean, cleaning builders. Are they? Cleaning uh, company. I don't know my grass cutters. <laughs> cleaning company. They do remedial building because if they built something, it would need remedial work. Thank you, Dolly. <laughs> Where, how do I get off this boat? Okay, so for the viewers at home, the overalls are up for the 16s, which is Imagine Signage is leading on 23 points. Southerly on 29 points. Skelcon on 40 points. Moon and Yachts, 42. They're equal with Sail Racing. Then next is Dominoes. Seventh is Fluid Building on 55. Eighth is Insight Building from Belmont, 56. Ninth, Sutec Building. 60 and rounding out the top 10 is Swell Racing on 62. And then we'll have a quick look at the 13. Just bear with me. You guys just talk amongst yourself or find them out. Well, we're waiting for you to come up with the goods, mate. I'm just seeing the messages flood into my <laughs> phone <laughs> about the Bella Group. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I apologise. Yeah, chief, we said we're sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Chief, yeah. You, you'll be doing the tour of the, yeah. the apology yeah. next, Bozo. You know what they say about marketing, though. There's there's good and they're bad, and it's all good. Okay, the, uh, in the 13 foot skiffs we have Ebix Sail Racing leading on 10 points from Cybertech Group 25. Next is Sail Media on 25. Then in fourth is Harkin on 27. Then fifth is Fluid 28. Sixth Plonk Cafe. Seven is Bartley Constructions, eight is Black Cat, nine QED, and rounding out the top ten is Cheeky. So there's the updated results to date. A match without a drop. That's without a drop. The yeah, drop comes in after next, this next, next race. race. So the next race, when the drops start to come into play, it, it, it will all reshuffle again. Look, the big, uh, sh the big shuffling time. of the de deck chairs on the Titanic. Massive. So we're not far off the uh, the five minute gun here for the uh, the 16th. The five minute hooter, I should say. And it's been a while for me, but it's two drops now, is it? It used to be only one drop. It's two drops if they get through all races. All if they races. only do, I think eight. There's only the one, the one drop. So yes, thank you, Matty Waters and James Pilted Pilgrim for uh, just clearing up what the uh, the Bella Group do. They're yep. the the Belmont Skiff Club's cleaning contractors. Now everyone knows. They do a lot. They do a lot. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be branching out into all the other things you now said, Clint. <laughs> well, and for 
And for everyone messaging my phone, can you please stop it? I'm trying to commentate on a sailing race here. You just ignore it, Dolly. That's yeah. all you got to do. I've got it. I've got it on silent. So uh, you turn it off and read it afterwards. It's a bit like the sailing instructions. <laughs> so, so Dolly, just going through some of these sponsors while we're waiting here for a, for a start. But it, Employment Hero, what do they do? So that's a uh, a, a business who manages all your payroll, entitlement, superannuation. Uh, all that sort of stuff. Uh, very big. It was a start out startup company by its founder Ben Thompson, and uh, they have been massively successful um, uh, dealing with all a lot of the big banks, big companies. Right down, doesn't matter the size of your business. And I could recommend a Fluid Building. Wow. That, uh, they so lot, lot, lots of people are sort of subcontracting that out these days. Indeed, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it keeps you up to date with all the changes in. Employment legislation law and, and legislation and stuff, all that stuff that sort of happens automatically for you. So the reserve day comes into play tomorrow, so we won't be here tomorrow. We'll be back Thursday for one race. We will have signal. The uh, the scheduled outages has now apparently been moved to night works for us. So. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. And because Ben Thompson from Employment Hero had kindly as our five minute. Yeah, Ben Thompson had kindly offered to uh, to lend us his uh, Starlink if we had needed it. Well, thank you very much for that. <laughs> and, and and excuse my ignorance. What's a Starlink? So, my mate Elon Musk... Your mate? Yeah, yeah, we're old <laughs> they're, they're besties. Yeah, we, ha we hang out, you know. We, we hang out, and he's been putting... Clint, for, I know, you, I know you, you, know, you don't get out much. I'm but, a builder. But he's been putting all these satellites in the atmosphere, right? And he's developed this system that where no matter where you are in the world, you can have this little system, and, and you will have... Just for the price of? Uh, it's actually pretty reasonable. Is it, really? Yeah. yeah. But you'll be making Elon richer, but that's good because he'll take me out to dinner more often. Oh, well, he's probably down to his last hundred billion, isn't he? Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Tesla, right. <coughs> Four minutes, folks. Um, just looking up course, I don't know whether the PRO's seen this, that there's a uh, slow-moving barge getting pushed across the middle of the track. Just there over is. No, you're right there, Jimmy. Oh, I'm sure they'll be able to avoid that, Jimmy. I bet you I know a few boats that'll <laughs> it'll be like a, a like one of those yeah. mozzie things in the fish and chip shop. Yeah, it's like a drink station, a, a midpoint drink station. <laughs> it's pretty low profile though. Yeah. It, they, they, while they're concentrating, they might not pick that. Wonder where he's off to, Jimmy. His current he might heading go, might be the, the, uh, he might the be runway. going through the gate yeah. at the moment. Wonder if he'll take the left or the right gate. Coming down to three minutes, we've got a lot of boats on course side of the line. We are we are only under P flag, so no restriction as to them being behind the line with a minute to go yet. Um, I'm thinking we might, with the conditions that we're looking at and the tide, etc. I'm hoping we might get a clear start away this time. And this breeze looks all right too. We're sort of 15, 16, 17 knots still. Quite patchy though, isn't it? It is patchy. There's a few holes. You've got to stay out of it. And looking at it, Clint, which you're still still favouring the left. Well, it actually looks pretty good straight up the guts. It does. It does <laughs> yeah. at the moment. Pressure's yeah. in the middle. Yeah. 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 And sure it's looking and it's looking a little soft on the edges. It is. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what the big guns do. There's a, the Shoe Tech boys. I don't like to play favourites, but I do like the Shoe Tech boys. They're always good smiling, they're, always smiling. They're good lads. Speaking, speaking of a great sponsor, there's a great sponsor, yeah. Uh, building consultants, Steve Bowen. It's not a bad bloke, old Steve Bowen. Dubious family, though. <laughs> I was lucky enough to spend um, many years sailing with Steve-O. He um, did. Won a few titles with that bloke. Yeah. 
want to keep cup with him too. <laughs> That's the most important one. Yeah, Barry Hodge, if you're listening. Thank you, mate. G'day, Hodgie. Hello, Saint, too. Saint, yeah. if you're out there. G'day, mate. He's the new Hodgie. <laughs> Coming up to a minute 30, and looks like the majority of boats are, are looking at the top end of the line at the moment, but there's still plenty of scope for them to uh, to head on down further down, further down the line. We we do have do have the little I think it's a little general down there, is it? Absolutely. So. Absolutely. So Lee Napton in the notes. So the, the way that you can tell that notes is see the the hollowed the, out yeah, logo the, uh, as, right, a, as, a, as opposed to a out. solid logo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A line logo, not a solid logo. Now he's driving we go, we around. Go, we go through the same thing in the 18s. Oh, thank, thank you for Nakes for sponsoring two boats. Oh, three oh, boats. Three boats. Three boats. Three boats. He's got the Queensland boat as well. Inside a minute now, and we've got a lot of heavy hitters up the boat end here. So we've got at the bottom of the boat end group, we've got Moon and Sutek, Eric's Ace uh, of, of the the good guys. And gee, we've got a lot of boats trying to cram in right at the start boat, including Tagara. Cunningham's fire stopping. And again, and again, dull the Noakes blue with the big rig yeah, like you Ryan want to see him, Unless he's going to flop straight over onto port and leg it out. He's in a great position there. He is, Clint, but he's if I was him, I'd be at the pin. Yep. Now you're right, Dolly. Just, and he's mentor witty. He loves the pin. And he's in a whole world of pain within HS. He's just there. dropped into it there oh, now. He's just yeah. been buried. Yeah, been buried. Looks like a clean yeah, start clean. to me, I'm thinking. Yep, Phil West has just dropped the flag on just the deck. He's thrown it on the deck. He's thrown it on the deck. Great start from the Imey, the Southerly, Ace. They're, they're off the line nicely. They're, we can't see the boats at the pin end, which means they got out of there well. Uh, Dave O'Connor in the fluid has opted to tack out at the boat, looking like he likes the right. Plenty. Oh, he had a shocker of a start. He got buried off the start there. Yeah, he got had to bail out. Yeah. Yeah, Noakes Blue rolled over the top of him and that was the end of him. And we're seeing the majority of the fleet flop over here to get out of there on port if they haven't got a clear lane. So a lot of these boats have started up at the boat end. They've tacked out and they're looking for some clear air, looking for a lane. Uh, the boats at the pin end, they've elected to put the hammer down and head out to that left-hand side. We've got Southerly and Imey and Moon and sailing a pretty tight high line while the boats who were right at the pin which included uh, Noakes and uh, Sail Racing and Imagine Signage, they put the hammer down, they're sailing a low fast groove trying to get to that left hand side as quickly as possible, as possible which originally was Clint's and my pick of what to do, but we'll see what pans out for this race. It's a different yeah, it looks like there's good pressure out here now. There is, yeah. yeah. I mean, you look at Subley there, they're just blasting away. They're probably five degrees lower than Moonen and absolutely blasting. Yeah. So racing have elected to tack out. They're just uh, taking a few sterns on the way. They went behind Ivy. And here comes Bella Group. They're a cleaning company. <laughs> <laughs> but if you like, they can mow your lawns as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, sail racing. They've gone they back again. They obviously wow. Won. There they was a pack of starboard tackers there, and they were going to have to take a lot of sterns, so they've elected to go back. SKE. They're sort of in the mid pack, and they've elected to tack and get out of there. And here comes uh, the aforementioned barge. Can we see that barge on the screen? Yeah, it's coming barge? at us there. He's like gonna... it's got buoys on it. Buoys. And he doesn't buoys. know. And buoys. He doesn't know which way to go. <laughs> yeah. Hold us steady, Just mate. Hold us steady. Yeah. We've got, got the, the barge on, on screen there now. And they would look like clearance marks or DPI Exclusion. fads, but they wouldn't be taking fads offshore in that barge, I don't think. Exclusion marks. That's what they look like. Yeah. <sighs> CJK gonna have a rush across him. Good on you, lads. Pin the ears and go for it. So they're going, they, the uh, suddenly in the moon are still going out to the left. Yep, they're hard going hard, 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 hard left. left. 
Yeah. This poor bloke in the barge, he probably goes across here every Tuesday at the same time and there's no one out yeah, here and yeah. then turns up today and it's, you've it's got 50 or 52 <laughs> skiffs coming at you. Yeah. Yeah. And we'd like to thank the people at ABS Barge Marine Services o- Oz, for their... Oz Barge. Oz Barge, oh, yeah. Oz, okay. Oz Barge Marine Services for their cooperation. You and there is sponsorship uh, opportunities available if they want to get in contact. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm sure they're watching. I, I think they do uh, barges. <laughs> Can't get that wrong. And maybe cleaning. So I'm so so back on to uh, port and charging. I'm here looking good. If, I'm here if, looking great. If this right hand side, if the pressure holds in um, and uh, pressure and height, uh, I'm here and swell are looking good of the right hand group. Um, of the left-hand group, we've got Insight going for a look back. Ooh, we just saw a close one oh, between close call, yeah. Nozomi and Outback Marine. Um, just not on screen. There's a, a manly boat with a red cross on there, so we'll have to find out who that is, Dole. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Give, give them some pointers. Uh, I think they may be the uh, the young guys from the 13s from Hornsby, Karingai, sailing under the manly banner. So Okay. Oh, Maybe give them a, a few yes. little pointers on yep. what to do. If anyone's uh, paying attention to this, then go and see them in the rigging park. Give them a hand. So yeah, we're back on Ivy again now, and um, they've, they've taken our advice of putting the hammer down and going as quick as they can to a corner. Um, and so far, so good. That's looking good for them, and there's. At the moment, we're following them up this right-hand side of the course, and the pressure's really filling in here, isn't it, Clint? It is. No, it's, it's, it's actually it's looking better than last. Yeah. yeah, pretty even across the course. We've got on the on the left side, sort of mid, we've got Skelcon and CJK you're looking at now. You can see Skelcon to windward of them. And then we've got the majority of that left-hand fleet, another, gee, it must be two or 300 metres further left. There they are now. So they've really banged that left-hand side, probably pretty all the way, pretty much all the way to the ley line. And and who's out there again? Modern's way out there. Yeah, we can see Southerly, Moon and Noakes. Dominoes. Dominoes, yep. Um, Southerly, I think, are in there. Yep, Southerly's in there, inside of Tack back over, um, along with Dominoes. But it's, so hard to, it's hard, it's hard, hard to see now. from this angle, but you know, like to, from this, from here, it looks like they're overstepped. Yeah, and we thought that last time, and it seemed that red pumps were probably the only one who might have gone a touch too far, but they ended up pretty much on the ley line. Red pumps are in that group again. Um, I think we've got both red pumps out there as well, well as Eric Storage. Well, you, you think red pumps ready to be out there, uh, like? I think Bruce is making a real point of owning the pin this oh, no, rig yeah, out. He's doing his best, yeah. yeah. Like, there's no reason why you'd own the pin and then want to go go right. So the guys out on the right, though, they've got plenty of pressure. Like, there's, there's um, their, their bow waves, they've got good bow waves and stern waves coming off them. Yeah, and it looks to me as that... They're, they're uh, ripping. Looks like Tagara over there, too, is it? Tagara and Fluid. So yep. I mean, Cloud. Yep, but at the moment, we're looking at this left-hand group. We've got... On the lured end of the group, we've got inside, we've got uh, Domino stepped out in front of a few, but uh, in the most windward position, we've got Imagine Signage, Southerly and Moonen. Um, there they are now, they're really well positioned. Um, but yeah, you're right, Clay. I think they're on a ley line there. I think so. And it's Modern there, is, it looks like Modern's giving dirty air to Southerly, which they will not be liking. Uh, is that modern or is it imagine? Imagine. That's it's imagine, imagine. isn't it? Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, modern concept just behind that group, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Side with notes, yeah. So, yeah, they're sort of giving chase, sail racing in a lured position there as well. So, sort of usual suspects. Um, yeah. The guys guys are looking good on that side. Mate, the guys out the right are. money, the guys on the right, including. Good. Hold, hold your tickets. The hold your tickets, folks. Hold, hold your tickets. The fluid building is looking very, very good on the right hand and, side. And how many times has that happened? 
Dave probably wanted to go left. Yeah. And he got taxed. Boxed. He got boxed. He got. He had to tack. He went out to the right. And he's come out all right, all right. I'm sure he'll tell you it was part of his race plan right from the beginning. <laughs> well, I can, I, I'll, I'll freely admit there's plenty of times when it happened to me. They are going to lead. Besides, besides uh, Tagara, Fluid and Tagara are going to lead this race by quite some distance. Come on, Fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Clint's getting excited, folks. I am getting excited, all right. Yeah. Are you going to do like uh, Craig Nichols and hold onto the boat? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going to. I'm going to say, go, boys. Go on, you want your name on the trophy? Yeah. <laughs> and they've judged this ley line impeccably. Uh, just beautiful sailing from the boys. And that look, is they've, awesome. They've, they've done a lot of work on this boat, I will say. These guys, thank you very much. It's going to make my boat better when I get back to me. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Fluid building first around. Dave O'Connor, Fang Warren and Phil Harmer. And they're going to have probably a, a 15 second lead, I'm guessing. 20 seconds maybe to Tom Clout and the team on Tagara. Hear the cheers going up at the St George Club as we speak. Uh, well done, Tagara. And uh, next in, we're going to have a great, great uh, comeback from Nick Connor and the boys on Cunningham's, Cunningham's Real Estate. So they've stepped it up, Cunningham's boys. And this looks good for Imey here. Okay, Cunningham's around now, and then Imey next. So that, so that was a massive gain for the boats out to the right. It was. We picked that, didn't we, Dolly? No, not this time. Okay, I didn't. we did it. Okay. But if you did, <laughs> no, I stay quiet. All credit to you. <laughs> you know, I'm your next round. Yep. And NHS with SKA yep. Electrical, the Much, two young guns the two young from guns, uh, so Belmont. Belmont. Joel Bichel on the NHS and Banjo Nicholson on the SKE. Quite, <laughs> quite a difference in rig dimensions there by the looks. NHS very small mainsail, isn't it? Short footed. So so again, there was a there was a win there was a win out to the right uphill and the guys have gone the opposite direction downhill. downhill which yeah. goes against everything. It goes against it. It goes yeah. against it. You know, yeah. and and interestingly on the last race I, I couldn't understand why no one was going down the right hand side downhill. Yeah. But who so am I? I'm sitting in the boat with the microphone on. <laughs> so we've got to imagine southerly swell Noakes, Moonan, oh, the Bartley's in trouble. Hang on to it, Hang on to it. Skelcon jibed. Skelcon jibed early, as did Domino. So they they they're going to go over to the aforementioned favoured side, Clint. And we're so good so far here. We've um, so good so far getting in behind Moonan, which is great. Great sailing, guys. Yeah, fire stoppings in there. Contender, modern concept. Stu Tech had a bit of a gaggle behind, and uh, Eric's NFPG, Insight, and Pepsi Max. And your new favourite boat next around the Bella Group. The Bella Group, there they are. They get it. <laughs> <laughs> bit of a better one from the Employment Hero boys. Oh, oh, oh there's a bit of carnage oh, at the top, carnage. Mark, folks. We've the got fireball the just came in, tacked right on the mark. The little blue dinosaur, nowhere to go. Uh, they're in the water, actually. It's actually quite uh, dangerous where they are right there. Guys ripping around the corner. And Fireball trying to looks like trying to do their turns. They maybe Not the spot. Maybe should have got a little bit yeah. clearer of the fleet. They're going to go in there. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah. That's uh, karma, unfortunately. Gee, this back of the fleet, there's some, some tight action going on here. Yeah. yeah. Things will get a little bit noisy here for a moment while we... Uh, the noise isn't too bad, Dole. If I put the old props on, you'd, uh, you'd hear it. The new uh, gonna... sexy little dance shoes the camera cat's got. Jimmy's just going to open up the ponies and we're going to head down uh, down course. So Skelcon, is it Skelcon? So, yeah. Um, what's a black road? Black Spinnaker down to the... Tagara. The Tagara. Yeah, that's Tagara. Tom Clown just in front of... Uh, of Cunningham's. Looks like we've still got fluid. 
nicely in the lead, but uh, heads are down to the bottom of the course and get me some pictures. And there's just a massive line of boat, go, boats going down the, the eastern side of the course at the moment. Literally nose to tail and super tight. Cunningham's giving chase to Tagara and you can see Fluid with the blue spinnaker have just jived. Heading for the gate and I'd suspect they're going to take the right turn. The other two boats are likely to follow them in but Tom Cloud selected to jive drop here and take the left hand mark. And actually not a bad option. Yeah, he's, made, he's made some ground on Fluid yeah, there. He'll probably get it. He'll be first round the he'll gate first round. Yep, he's made some ground on him. So Tagara first around. And did Tagara did Tagara take a more of a left hand downhill then? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they jived out reasonably early. So I'm not sure what uh, Fluid would be doing here, but you'd probably keep a real close eye on Tagara. They're going to love us for just giving them a bit of a bit of wave action. Oh, well, it's very minimal wave that's, action. That's that's the cost they pay for yeah. us for, for talking them up for, to be famous. Yeah, big game here from uh, Joel Beachel NHS. So we've just had Imi go around the right mark. We've got NHS now taking the left mark. Just in front of SKE drive drop. Oh, this is going to get SKE. Oh, pretty. Oh, yeah. oh baby, he did well there. He did yeah. well there. Right big positioning. Seller. Yeah, yeah. That's when it's good to have have someone. Be glad. Yeah. Be glad in the middle. Yeah. They got round just inside uh, TTR Civil. Southerly and Moonan taking the right turn. Imagine and Noakes taking the left turn behind. Uh, SKE there. Speaking of big guys, Brett Davis, he's a big lad, but I tell you what, he's nimble around a boat. You, you wouldn't notice him. Skelcon, really nice tight rounding yeah. there with Swell. Yeah. Swell's going to have to ease up a bit here, otherwise he's going to come aboard. All good. Domino's contender. Right hand mark, we've got uh, Modern Concept Constructions. Left hand, we've got Sail Racing going to lead Sutek in and, around and, there. And, yeah. it, and if anything, I think it's freshened in a little bit here, which is great. Yeah, there's been a great bit of a, racing. bit of a build. So far, so Funny good. twist wow. in the head of uh, So Good's yeah. jib. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, guy, oh, yeah the, guy, the guys will be Norse will be loving that. Yeah. The new heads will there. It's all about sales. Button, get it? <laughs> the dad jokes, here they come. Yeah. <laughs> Another super tight rounding here. We've yeah. got Tribeca, Pepsi Max, Botany. Everyone giving room. Bartley man. going Bartley around the started. outside. Oh, this is this, getting This messy. looks like fun. We yeah. should join it. Yeah. FPG, yeah. 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 Rivcon, they're the smart ones. They hung back a bit and just poked it up the inside and stayed out of the mess. Smashed it out. Yeah. Around the other mark, the other you've other got mark. Uh, Employment Hero trying to go up a hill with a spinnaker half yeah, up. Yeah, there's a knot in the halyard, folks. I mean, they've all been very good around these bottom marks, though. They're giving each other room. Yeah, not too room bad. To yeah. Bella, Bella Group got caught on the outside of Employment Hero. There's CJK. They're getting a bit untidy today. Do you know who I have not seen is Red Pumps. Seen a Red Pumps Red. Red Pumps Red. Red Red pumps, red pumps, red are currently heading to the domestic terminal with their spinnaker stuck up. The, something's something's gone amiss there with their spinnaker chute. And that's the thing with the spinnaker chute too. If you've got a knot, if it, it tends to be bad. right up inside the boat too. If it goes can't, bad, can't, it can't goes get bad. to it. Can't yeah. fix it. Yeah, they've, they've sorted well, that issue out. CMJ, CMJ decided to create a bit of a hazard in that bottom mark. Flew might Joy Man Fleur look like they're going to run straight over the rig there. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. That's trouble brewing there. 
Yeah, he's going straight over that rig. Just lift up the centre. There you go. <laughs> mm. That's a CMG man flu sandwich. That's a party there. Now, who, who bought the lollies? <laughs> now, you're right, Jimmy. I, I was looking at the red spinnaker up there thinking it may have been... Um, it's a white hole, red I think, pubs, isn't it? But it's Don't. not them, and, yeah, they're nowhere to be seen. If uh, if anyone is on shore and uh, knows what's yeah, going on with the red here with Noakes and... Oh, God, that was close. If someone little, knows little, what's little, going little, on. Little blue dinosaurs... Um, like playing bumper cars out here today. Good way to get to know everyone, right? Yeah, look, it is. It's nice. That or get Dodds to steer the boat. One or the other. That's <laughs> yeah, how, you get to, how you get to so know Jimmy, everyone. So, Jimmy, there is a few skippers around that are a little bit bumper barish, aren't they? And they, like, you know, dodge them cars. Absolutely. Yeah. Hit but, first, ask questions later. But the racing this week is so close. It's that tight, you know. It's, yeah, it's no, no surprise there's a bit of rubbing racing out here. Because, yeah, the rounding marks, what was that one? Like seven abreast, wasn't yeah. it? You sort of got to expect it, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. And hope There's come, a Queenslanders on the screen, right Clint, in the uh, Noak Sunshine. They're, they're nice and relaxed, the Queenslanders. Always are. Yeah. Indeed. And, and what was that old boat? I reckon you'll find that was the old skilled. The old skilled, I was going to say. That, that yellow, that sort of stood oh, out. Oh, yeah, maybe. Sunshine Lake, Sarah Thorburn, there you go. Right, one of the Thorburns, yeah. yeah Alex Hart, is it? Uh, yeah, OK. Alex Chittenden's right, Alex in Ryan Belly Group. There you are, we're on again. Alex Chittenden's old, though. That was the Mike I believe. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, that did very, very well. So yeah, we're got... looking at the NFPG there, and you can look at the water there, folks. You can see we've just had a little bit of a, a bump in, in breeze strength right now. Um, the breeze has come back in. It's taken, well, it looks like a little bit of a a tick across to the pretty much due south at the moment. So majority of the fleet have gone to the right hand side. Yeah. Yeah. They're working that south there now. Which is the side that paid for uh, fluid in that last fleet. We've seen the majority of the fleet go to that right hand side. The only boat. Yeah. And hopefully we get up to the 13s here. They look like they're just about to go around the top mark. Is that Evex? Evex potentially leading there. They rip it away. Yep. Evix, then Salvia. Mighty Rangers, mate. Followed by the Harkin. Yep. And then Cybertech. And you can see how quickly these 13 for skips get up to pace. The little boats, not much on them. When they go, they go. They're actually quite a handful in a bloke. Well, often at Manly, Clint, when uh, racing got called off, you'd always grab a 13 and go out and donate a new rig to someone. I did, inevitably. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll never forget going out with Bernie Kerr one day. It was about 35 knots, and I said to Bernie, whatever you do, do not let it go. <laughs> and he let it go, and the mask came back in two pieces. There was about a hundred people on the deck watching. Yeah, like, cheering. Yeah. Cheering. Yeah. Yeah. S Cybertech. Uh, Cybertech there. Right, yep. Yeah. Cybertech on screen. Oh, there, yep. There. Can giving Almost chase. Almost right up the back Cybertech door. Cybertech right in there. Cheeky here. So that's the kitchen maker. On screen, so it's plonk and cheeky. And it looks like uh, fluid might have extended there on this in the 16s. Just see the uh, the fluid 13 go around the top mark, and then I bet you Sophie and Bella won't talk to me for the rest of the week. Look, look at where they're they're coming. Yeah, it looks to me like they've got some sort of problem, a gear problem of some kind, because. Uh, 
the, the boat doesn't look like it's getting through the water very well at the moment. It just looks like lead on the 13s, aren't they? Like they're through. There's our leaders just Good approaching the top racing, mark. Isn't it? So they went round together at the bottom mark and, and uh, Fluid obviously had a very good work. I know Phil had time there just to, you know, wipe his nose. He wasn't straight in at the sheet. Obviously very relaxed. Yeah, jeepers. Um, you know, they are uh, looking very good and Tom Clout in Tagara is managing to hang on to second place leading He's... in from, from Nick Connors Cunningham so there's a couple of crews here that are going to be very happy after this race if they can maintain these positions yeah, a very good race for the Tagara three, two, one Bit on the halyard, but a great set otherwise. A little bit to go. And look, you know, sometimes it's better just to get it up, get it going, and then you fix the, the other bits later. Grab it in a job. Yeah. Yeah. They just There's went in and bit. pulled it up just then. There's Cunningham's in third. There's the big sausage. Look at him. He doesn't even leave the gunnel. He just arm over arm. Nick. Ne next around is Imy, just coming around the mark now. This guy, this will go up in a flash. Yeah, what bunk shoulder, right? Oh. Windward set, always a problem. Well done, lads. And they're off. Yeah. And the ever consistent. Yeah. Imagine signage. And that's the thing, isn't it? A consistency will win a regatta. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And they haven't had a race win, so, you know, it's just goes they to show. They haven't had a win, but, yeah, they just they kept it in there all the time. And Sarah in uh, Southerly once again, also having a nice consistent. She's only had one one race outside of the ten, I believe. TTR Civic. So TTR uh, originally the guys on that are from um, Illawarra. Yeah, coming up the sale at St George. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Illawarra basically. Uh folded as far as a, a club gifts to go yeah and uh great great for st george because we inherited a lot of the guys up the came up the freeway it's only a short drive and um good to have phil and rich and their enthusiasm that they put into the the club and class and uh have them as part of the st george fold Oh, and, and, and yeah, and professionalism, you know, Rich, um, Rich you know, has been around for a long time. So Sal Racing sort of sitting back in, I don't know, 13, 14 position. It's not really their breeze, do you think? Or? Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, normally they go well sort of downrange with either rig, but... They're certainly finding things difficult today. Yeah. And like we said, it's a boat speed track. Yeah. If you're going fast, it's easy. You know, you've got time to think. You can go the wrong way and, it, and, it, and you still don't pay for it. Yeah. yeah. Just looking at Moon and there leading out. These other two are just soaking some depth and going quick. It's almost See. a carbon copy of the last race with Skelcon and, and Moonen going downhill, except Brawl's reversed. Yeah, Skelcon, they're starting to roll them here. Get some wheels on them, definitely. It doesn't look like there's much Moonen can do about it, except no, drive, they're, they're drive out, out of there. They didn't out. really have a choice. Um, we're going to see Noakes jive as well and chase them down and no surprise that Skelcon has then gone with them as to, so to not let them get away. But yeah, just fantastic racing we're seeing. Not on screen for the viewers. Fluid just going around the mark now and they've extended their lead massively over Tagara. 
Yeah, it's been a good run. It's been a good run. I'm just trying to get a time on that. So, yeah, we've still got... Uh, we're just with the chasing chasing group for a moment. Fluid's having a bit of a swimming practice there. The, uh, the, the 13, 13, don't give people the heart attack. The 13, the 13, the 13. The 13. <laughs> the 13. <laughs> don't give myself a heart attack, Jimmy. So I, I'm thinking that uh, they've, they've probably got 30 seconds on them now. And it's, it's uh, the, the distance between Tugara and Cunningham's are fairly similar. If anything, Imey's put a bit into them. Tagara around. All those boats holding station and next round we'll have Cunningham's. They're going to take the left hand turn while Imey takes the right hand turn. So I'm 100% uh, sure these guys will be uh, hard on the, um, on the they'll, be, they'll be riding off the compass but they'll be just driving these boats as hard as they can possibly go. Yeah, Sarah Lee jived there and she's in a bit of a cross with, uh, with Imagine Signage and Imagine Signage are going to take the right and Sarah's going to take the left turn at the bottom. Good late drop on the southerly. We'll see how they go getting this away. They should be okay. A little bit late perhaps, but all good. All is good. There is a 13 just sized in their way at the moment, but at the moment they should get around them okay. Go and bother them. TTR Civic. So Civic. The, whole, the whole fleet looks like it's going to the right hand side of the track now. It just depends on where they go. They go they go outside the chutes or they decide to go under the chutes. Here's a good run in here. Good view of the boats coming into this bottom mark. Yeah, once Civic. again, super congested, isn't it? Yeah. And that's a great drop from the SKE. Well done, lads. Yeah, I think Scotty just gave him a high five there. Well done, Benjo. And it's great to see these young kids, like, they're just gnarling it. So Domino's, Noakes, Skelcon, Modern Concept Constructions from Moon and Yachts. While on the right-hand turn, we've had uh, NHS and Bella Group, followed by Eric's. And I'd say <coughs> Moonen's had a little loss down on that run, unfortunately. Yeah, I'd agree, mate. Yeah. Yep. So racing coming in while Pila Hay and Tribeca get a little bit up Cozy. close and personal. Uh, they're trying to stay high so they can get, get around this, this size 13. 13. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You'd almost want to see a uh, one of the ru rubberized crash boats in there just to protect the young kids. Yeah. Sue Tech on the right. Yeah. Looks like the Fiji Water, is it? Yeah, Fiji yeah. Water. <laughs> Fiji Water checking the water. NFPG taking the right turn ahead of Thurlow Fisher. And that's pretty much our lead lead group spoken for now. What happened to uh, my fire stopping? Have you seen them, Dol, or are they, they going to join red pumps somewhere? But, but I can't see them at the moment, Jimmy, no. Oh, there they are. You got Still them? going, just above Bartley. Ah, uh, yes. Managed to sail, sail themselves back in this one. Got to check out all the positions. Well, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, if Moonen can get a 37, he might as well check it out. I haven't had that one. We'd better get that one. <laughs> yeah. No, I think uh, they they sort of only went halfway and tried to hedge their bets, and then they went a long way out on the right. I've seen Ian Gas the whole way. So, you know, just to... So just seeing uh, what the access coming into the mark there, they've dropped back a bit for some reason, as is... Uh, Bartley construction and, and it was interesting listening to Graham yesterday because obviously a very 
you know, a fabulous sailor, and but very strategic, very tactical, sailor boats around you, you know, as opposed to a lot of the culture in this class, which is we like going flat out, and when it's light and shifty, a lot of us are not that happy. Yeah, like it's, um, it is one of those things, like it was actually interesting to listen to how Graham approaches it compared to the way, as you said, the skiff guys, where, you know, we're just, especially us, Oh, show dance, you know, it's just pin the ears back and go as hard and fast as we could and don't think too much about it. Um, yeah, and it was, he actually picked each work really well yesterday for us and explained it through the commentary, which was really good that we could uh, pick the brain of a, a dual Olympian. Yes. Um, you know, and how they, they sail. Like, yeah, you know, Graham has a sail skip, like 16 skips per se. Yeah. But, uh, you know, 470, so. Uh, where, where, where it's a lot, it's a slower boat, and they they they're, they're working off each other a lot. They're, yeah. They're, there's a lot of strategy. There's a lot in that compass. There's a lot of positioning, um, and, it, and it really it really shone through. And it was probably a perfect day for him to be out there. It was good because yeah, like sort of examples of what he was saying were unfolding. It was like he had the whiteboard in front of him, and you know, hopefully the young kids in particular are listening, take the time and watch that back and have a look back through the races and see how it unfolded. Well, uh, you've got a 470 Olympian, and who's leading the regatta? The 470 Olympian. Yeah. And, and oh, not gold medalist. A gold medalist as yeah. well. Yeah. And another 470 campaigner, Lee Napton. Yeah. 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 It's not necessarily the boat that the people sail. It's like what they learn in that environment. Both of them, you know, very lucky that they were both taught by Victor. Yeah, well, when you can when you combine those smarts with knowing how to sail a skiff fast, it's a recipe it's for, a, for, for success. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, you know, interestingly, and I came from the Sea Scouts, and there's a big crew that have come from you know a, a non-formal area of training. Yeah, indeed. You know, whereas uh, I know Manly are running you know a fabulous program, do a lot of the sailing clubs, and they teach the kids about where to be, positioning, compass work, um, as opposed to us who just went, let's just go as fast as we can possibly go. And have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yours is a Cinderella story, Clint. How did we do it? Came from Balmoral Sea Scouts to to being a multiple (laughs) national champion. And I know we're not meant to mention beer, but it's the reason I did go over to Manly Skiff Club because we heard when we're eighteen-year-old blokes. This is a good. This is a good fun place how, to be. How good is this? They pay prize money, and there's um, there's a there's a, a couple of beers in it. So um, fantastic, you know, and, oh, a bu- fabulous. And, and a bunch of good people, and a, and and mates for life. Yeah, you know, Rolfie's yeah. Rolfie's one, Anne's one, you know. Our good mate Bart, unfortunately, passed on. No longer with us. God bless him. But yeah, certainly a Cinderella story, your one, mate. Didn't come through the normal formal we did not. channels. No. I, I, I'd always say, and I think I, I spoke at one regatta and said, we're, we're not that good, we just work really hard. Yeah, and you always did. And, and uh, impeccable boat preparation always. Yeah. So just looking at the Impeccable Ebix. boat builder. <laughs> we both had the same boat builder. Oh, who was that? Yeah. Bloke? Who was that good looking? Who was that good looking bloke? Oh, that's <laughs> it's a great right. Andrew Dolly Davala. Yeah. No, always. Ebix leading the 13s, and a nice, I'd say, comfortable lead over over CyberTech at the moment. Who are who are who have we got chasing in? We've got the Kitchen Maker. We've got Sail Media, and Harkin. So. Um, it's going to get fairly tight. We're just... They're going to drive they're Jimmy. They're driving Jimmy. You're good. Sorry, we're just uh, catching, to get the drone catching down. drones while we're staying out of Skiff's way. And you're doing a great job here, guys. Is that, you know, there, there is a lot going on. And uh, we're trying to get pictures for you at home. And uh, to do so, the guys have got to get close. So Cyber Tech, second around in the 13s. So we've got... James and Gemma Hopkins with a nice little lead heading down to the bottom for the last time. In first place in an Evix. Hello, Sean Lilly. Hope you're watching. Then Kobe and Theo in Cybertech giving chase is the kitchen maker. 
and Sal Media, and then we'll have Harkin after them. And we've got the the fluid around the top, and it's daylight. It's daylight second. Yeah, looks like Cunningham's have made some big inroads, as have Southerly here, though. So they're just going to jive and cover off down to this left-hand side. And that puts them down underneath any chasing opposition. We'll put them in. Cunningham's uh, in good in shape. Second. Cunningham's and have gone into second. Southerly have gone uh, into third. third. Yeah. They have. Tagara's, Tagara's dropped. dropped a couple of places there, and they're also under threat from Imy now yeah. as well. But we've just, we'll, we'll just keep looking at... Uh, the, the fluid belting down the track there. They've, no wonder they jive there. They have just hooked onto a cracking gust. That's like Top Gun stuff, jet fighter it's stuff, isn't it, Dolly? Uh, they are off the mat. They are just going so hard. Clint's getting a little excited here. I've folks. always wanted to say that since I've seen Nokia. Yeah. The so fluid hasn't won for years. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> We're getting a bit excited. So they're off and. They, I can't see anybody catching them. Nick yeah. Connor around the top mark just now, so that's got to be probably 40 seconds, I reckon. Um, but great job from the Cunningham's team. There they are. Fine love life. Clear Go Richie Cunningham. Clear second place. That'll be John Cunningham, not Richard. <laughs> Next around we'll have Southerly, Ivy. Tagara and the ever-present imagined signage. So that's a big game for Cunningham's up that lead. And 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 if if uh, suddenly can hang on to a third downhill, yeah, it's going to be great for their point score. Oh, Sarah is just having a such a consistent regatta. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, well, it's jellyfish. My goodness. Honestly, folks, the jellyfish, I don't know if you could see them in our drone shots today. I know you could a couple of days ago. The jellyfish in Botany Bay here at the moment are just unbelievably thick. They are everywhere. Nice shot of the, the fluid giving chase over uh, the kitchen, kitchen maker. maker. Kitchen maker, oh, it's a loose jive from the kitchen maker, but they've yeah, managed to save it. it. Yeah. having so much fun, they've decided to just keep on going. Just yeah, want to work, way to work right. uphill a little, little bit further on the way home. I tell you, these guys from Cybertech are having a brilliant day. Uh, they? You know, great regatta. They are. I don't want to put a mocker on them, but they are credit where credit's due. That's the day you want, isn't it, Clint? Like a one-two. On two race day, you'd be Perfect. more than happy with that. Get home, yeah, get in home. one piece. Yeah, absolutely. And a, and a day off, so you, you, you're positive, confident going into the next, into the lay day. So, next up, we have got Cybertech with Theo and Kobe over in second place in the 13 foot skiffs. Well done, lads. And here they come, Clint. 
Oh, I'm excited. That's the first win for Fluid in a while. It is, mate. Yeah. yeah. Well done, boys. Just had to get rid of the crew. <laughs> well, the steerer, is it? The steerer. I'll, I'll stick up, up for you, Berkey. Get rid of the It's a steerer. So, yeah, yeah. Dave, Dave Fang and Phil, that was a very well executed race. Next over, we've got Taylor and Tim in the kitchen maker. They'll be ecstatic about that. Third yeah. place, one of the father daughter combinations. And here and we then, go. Sale Media. Then Stop we've it. got father son combination, the Sale Media with. Uh, Benny, our youngest competitor in the championships, and Father Darrell. Fantastic. Just managed to hold out Heidi and Orlando on Harkin. Oh, this is a, a tight bunching coming in here now on the 13s. So who have we got there, Jimmy? We've got three. Plonk, Plonk in front. Plonk, then it'll be Black Cat, I dare say, with the red spinnaker. Yep. And then Cheeky. So Cunningham's will take second, but we've got out of the left, we've got Imey, and out of the right, we've got Suddenly. And I think Imey's put some time into them here. They're coming in hot, but they're they on coming in jive. On. Coming in hot with no rights. Great job from Nick Connors, Cunningham's team, to take second place. They'll be very happy about that. And we're, we're looking at a convergence of... Two Gara two boats and here Imey. going hard. I think yeah. Southerly's going to take this, Clint. Yeah, Southerly's got it, and Imey's got two Gara. So we've got Sarah Lee, Southerly. Will they jive back? He's just going to run it here. In third, Hugh Stoddart. And he's fourth, got Fourth, Tommy Clout, to Gara. He'll be fifth. Then we've got the ever consistent Imagine signage coming in sixth place, Nathan Wilmot. So, so now we we start to get the results, we get our drop, our first drop in, we see yeah. where, where things are really panning out. Yeah, and we're gonna see some big changes today. TTR, great result for them in seventh place. Fantastic. They'll be stoked with that. And then uh, Daniel Turner and the Moonen team. And Skelcon. And I'm really pleased to see this. We've got uh, NHS. NHS. Yeah. yeah. Young it's Joel going to be Beachel. nicely done. Nicely That's done, guys. Nicely done. Just got to get across that line there. They had a bit of a difficult yeah. start to the week, but they've pulled that one together for a good result. We've and got close uh, one with MCC just beating Dominoes across yeah, the line. Modern Concept Constructions have got that, and then SKE. Nokes, they're probably hoping for a little better than that, and they've just held out swell. Looking down on Eric's there, they're fully lit up at the boat end and they've just managed to hold out Rod Carter's inside building. Next on the screen there, we've got Contender, Contender Sailcloth, and they've just crossed in front of the Bigfoot 13. Be a close little one here, Dalton. It will be. Yeah, these, these three or four. Yeah, yeah they're coming out. Some uh, like the, the winner out of this will be uh, here. Oh. oh, they're running. Oh, Pila Hay has got it. Well oh. done. Pila Hay, the veterans from Middle Harbour. Yeah. That's a great result. For it's congratulations. So Sue Tech and then try Becca. Becca. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations to the Pila Hay team from Middle Harbour. That's a great result for Mark and the boys. The yellow spinnaker doll. Yeah, the botany scaffold just managed to hold out modern concept constructions. And that Benny Brunnage is there? Yep, Benny Brunnage is in the Newcastle NFPG. final planning group. <sighs> and the fluid 13 just about to cross the line. Yeah, unfortunately I saw them have a swim they at did. one point. A little bit of a whoopsie. That would have been expensive. Yeah. 
So Ace is coming in here now. They'll probably be a bit disappointed with this after the last race. And yeah. who, who did we talk up up the first work? There you go. I didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bl we'll blame you for everything from tomorrow onwards, Clint. Because you're not here yeah. to defend yourself. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Where's Milko? So Ace and then Thurlow Fisher from Des Moines. <sighs> And it'll be close between Botany Access and Pepsi Max. Yeah, it looks like Botany will get that, the chocolates on that one. Pepsi Max are across. In the next group, we've got uh, Employment Hero in a tight little tussle with Bartley. Employment hero, we're going to have to either soak or jibe here. So they're coming in. Employment hero are just going to pip them out at the pin end of the line, and they'll be pretty happy with that one. They would have been disappointed with the last one. So they're good. Beating Bartley there narrowly. Still alive? Yeah. And uh, Waterborne, Waterborne in the in the 13th will be next in there, having a bit of trouble. Magic though. Marine, yep. There they are, Waterborne Magic Marine. And here comes fire All stopping. the thing on. So it is this result for fire stopping. I, I just wonder what it's going to do to their handicap. But I suppose they lost minutes, didn't they? Would they lost would have lost minutes from lost. yesterday. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think it'll be the uh, end of the blue jersey for the for this point in time yeah. for them. Yeah. Wishard. It's like it's like uh, the Tour de France here, isn't it? Yellow yeah, jersey, the blue jersey, the climbers jersey. <coughs> Got to figure out what we're going to do with the polka dot jersey, though, Bozo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it? Is that who's pushing? You know, what uphill or? Oh, maybe. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I thought we'd just get a white one and we'll take them out to paintball. <laughs> <laughs> and I was looking at the wrong boat before. It wasn't the employment no. hero, it was the other one with the yeah. similar spinnaker. Outback Marine, and then it's First State Lending just crossing in front of the fire just stopping. In front of the fire truck. And they will finish in front of the employment hero. And here comes the Bella Group. Here they come. We spoke. It's the most talked about boat today. So not their best race, but they but certainly got they some got some mileage. Didn't they? Oh my God, they got some hey. mileage. Yeah, their yeah. phone will be ringing off the hook. Everyone right? knows them. Yep. In they come. Oh, and they're coming. They're finishing hot too. Oof. Yeah, they're putting on a show. Yeah, well done, Belly Group. Kamikaze there. And here comes out Noakes Blue, the big rig. Didn't yeah, pay off. The breeze deep. freshened in. Yeah, I know, but jeepers, I was. They might they must have had a swim. They must have had a swim. Yeah. 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 They weren't that far back. No, they yeah. were not. Yeah. Are they heavy on that boat? They don't look that heavy. No, not that heavy. No. So quite courageous taking the big rig out, showing some yeah. guts. Yeah. Good on them. Rolled the dice. Yeah, you're probably fine. Woody came down and said, "Come on, you sawed, sawed the little rig in half and threw it <laughs> in the bin, right?" <laughs> You're not using that. Yeah. Yeah. Now get out there and sail in your thongs. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually lucky enough he took me out for a sail on the scallywag just before they went to Hobart. Yeah, what a, what a thrill. Well, they they didn't the go road. to Hobart. No, yeah. well, well, they, they went they out the didn't door. Get there. Yeah, yeah, I did the same. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So it's you two that broke the boat. Yeah, oh, well, Dolly was after me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't touch the spinnaker pole and they did let me steer. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a, it's amazing the power of those. those it's shorts. a weapon, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, 25 knots in that is a lot different to 25 knots in a skiff. Oh, and 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 interestingly though, you know, um, talking to the guys, they were tuning the rigs. They tune the rigs very similar to the way a we tune a 16. It yeah, is, yeah, or a skiff rig. Yeah. yeah. Now we don't. I've got no word on. We don't have red pumps out here, and I've got no word on what has happened to red pumps, but we hope everything's okay. They did get put a new boom on the boat this morning after snapping a boom yesterday. Um, 
which you might remember, we're watching them come into the finish and I said something's not right there and we were thinking it was, it was the boom bang or what was going on. The boom had actually creased and had buckled and every time they put the, pulled the main on it just basically folded like a concertina. So, um, One thing I know, Dole, that as they approach the club, Tina from Manly will be marking them all off the list to make sure they all get home. She will, and how lucky are we to have Tina? Absolute legend of 16-foot skiff sailing, and it's always a, a pleasure to um, have her around, and, uh, and particularly the girls that are sailing 16s and 13s. She's like mother hen. And, and a big shout out to the girls. It's, oh, uh, it's ladies' day. It's ladies' day. Hello, ladies. <laughs> All right, uh, just to recap on race five. In the 16-foot skiff, first, Fluid. Second, Cunning Amps. Third, Southerly. Fourth, Imi. Fifth, Tagara. In the 13s, Ebix. Then Cybertech, Kitchen Maker, Sail Media and Harkin. So that, um, that pretty much uh, wraps us all up for today. And uh, just as we're watching Fiji water, possibly going for another oh, sample of the yeah. water. But um, thank you very much for joining us, Bozo. Always a pleasure, never a chore to have you around. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. I Dull, really enjoyed it. Dull, thank you very much. Have a great trip away, uh, Clint. It was an entertaining day. So uh, thank you very much. And don't forget, we're not here tomorrow. Tomorrow is a lay day. Uh, we are back Thursday for race six for uh, 2.30 start. We are live from 2.20, uh, 2.10. Um, and... Uh, tune in and we will look forward to seeing you then.